Chapter 3861 The Dragon Expert's Suggestion Using the Purgatory Eyes Long Chen had broken that illusory figure in Long Aoshin's manifestation. He had also broken the laws of the heavenly Taoes, and from the fragments of space, Long Chen sensed a strange fluctuation. However, it was extremely familiar. Furthermore, when the elder of the heavenly eye race destroyed the heaven-encompassing cage, it also caused a change in the world. After that, that aura grew even stronger dragging Long Chen's attention to it. I also felt a summons. It must be from an inheritance left behind by the original devil races experts in the three thousand worlds. It has also appeared, said Yu Xiaokian. Xiaokian, you should hurry there. Don't let others get a head start, said Long Chen. But you, the current Long Chen might no longer have wounds riddling his body, but his aura was still extremely weak. She was worried about him encountering some powerful enemy on his way. I will be fine. I'll recover a bit here, and then I'll go to that place, said Long Chen comfortingly. I've also sensed the aura of a treasure. This time, it's definitely some big business, chortled Mo Nian. Why didn't I sense anything? demanded Gua Ran, feeling displeased. I didn't sense anything either. Xia Chen smiled bitterly. Hee hee, it's fine. My nose for treasures is very sharp. If us three brothers work together, what treasure can escape us? Mo Nian winked. Aha, that's right. With brother Mo Nian here, all treasures have a destiny with me. Laughed Gyu Ran. Exactly. Let me tell you, I can smell the scent of an ancient tomb. As soon as Monayan said this, Xia Chen and Guo Ren's expression sank. This heavenly tomb had been incredibly dangerous. Hence, they were all somewhat traumatized by tombs now. Seeing their expressions, Monayan hastily said, Don't worry. It's not a heavenly tomb this time. It definitely won't be as dangerous, I guarantee it. The two of them hesitated. Monayan had so many treasures. To say that they didn't covet such things would be a lie. Mo Nian had also said that he was going to give them some treasures, but how could the two of them accept that? They still had a bit of shame left and couldn't simply take other people's things. However, if they worked together with Mo Nian and put in some work, naturally the treasures would have to be divided up between the three of them. Even so, the very first time they worked together with Mo Nian, they just had to enter this heavenly tomb where they had almost died many times. Although they had made astonishing gains after experiencing this danger, they didn't want to go through it again. However, the light of treasures truly had a fatal attraction. The two of them were moved. What about our brothers in the city? Are they supposed to go grave rubbing with us? Asked Xia Chen. Mo Nian was baffled. If he brought that many people along, it would not be convenient at all. Have your brothers in the Dragon Blood Legion stay where they are. Once you deal with your matter, they can absorb the Dragon Blood with you. Suddenly, the Dragon Expert's voice rang out in Long Chen's mind. Long Chen didn't quite understand what it was saying, but he didn't pursue the topic. After all, he hadn't listened when it had told him not to fight with Long Aoshin. He had clearly irritated this dragon expert, so he obediently listened to it this time. Long Chen had them deal with their own affairs for now. The Dragon Blood Legion was to wait where they were and await further orders. With this, everyone split up again. Yu Xiaopian had to leave on her own, while Mo Nian brought along Yua Ran and Xia Chen. None of them wanted to waste any time. They all knew that the primal chaos Kai coming out of the world right now was nothing more than a small eruption. When the final current appeared, it would be the day that all the heavenly geniuses of the world gathered. That would be the time for a true bloody battle. Xia Chen left many talismans for Long Chen, especially transportation talismans. Long Chen was in a rather weak state right now, so he needed them. With everyone leaving, 
it wasn't convenient for Long Chen to stay here any longer. He then used transportation talismans, leaving as well. Senior, I need to go somewhere first, but I'll immediately get your dragon scale after that, transmitted Long Chen as he flew. Do you think you're so badass that you need to report to me? The dragon expert snorted. It was clearly displeased with Long Chen's previous actions. No matter how badass I am, there's no way that I could compare to you. Without you, who knows how many times I would have died on the martial heaven continent. Long Chen knew that he had to first fawn on the dragon expert a bit before anything else. Don't bother fawning on me. You're just a stubborn donkey. Tell me what was the point of that fight. You're down to one eye again, and you've messed up my calculations. Now there are even more variables to getting my Dragon King reverse scale, snorted the dragon expert. Junior was hot-headed, said Long Chen helplessly. Let's discuss this calmly. If you fought purely in terms of bloodline power, would you have beaten Long Aoshin? asked the dragon expert. Long Chen was silent. It was true, in terms of bloodline power, he wasn't a match for Long Aoshin. Although he won in the end, in terms of bloodline, he had indeed lost. Furthermore, at the start, he had been planning on just using the power of his physical body to beat Long Aoshin. It was all to prove that even without his supreme blood, he could still suppress Long Aoshin. Even if you say that you ultimately won, who cares? Even if he lay there and let you kill him, would you dare to? demanded the dragon expert. Why wouldn't I dare? asked Long Chen in confusion. Why wouldn't you dare? Are you a pig? If you kill him, how will you take back your spirit blood, spirit root, and spirit bone? Did you think ripping his corpse into a million pieces would allow you to take them back? pursed the dragon expert. Uh, Long Chen was left silent. Back then, when he encountered Long Aoshin, his head went blank. All he had been thinking about was killing him. Nothing else mattered. With this reminder, he understood. Naturally, he wished to take back all the divine abilities of his spirit blood, spirit root, and spirit bone. Senior, are you saying that it is possible for me to? The dragon expert irritably said, isn't that obvious? They were yours from the start. No matter how many changes they go through, as long as they return to the original master, they will be home. All the benefits will be yours. Your spirit, blood, spirit root, and spirit bone are only temporarily placed in him so that others can help you nourish them. The immemorial Long Clan possesses enough power and resources to do so. Moreover, your spirit blood, spirit root, and spirit bone still haven't fully matured yet. If you take them now, even if I had a method for you to merge back with them, they will be damaged. Their quality might even drop, and that wouldn't be worth it. Upon hearing this, Long Chen's heart pounded excitedly. He was so emotional that he almost cried. So, he still had a chance to take back his spirit bone, spirit root, and spirit bone. It wasn't about how powerful they were. What was more important to him was that these were things that his father and mother had left for him. He had to take them back. All right, don't get emotional. There's not that much time. Hurry up and go wherever you want to go, urged the dragon expert. Long Chen nodded. After settling his emotions, he flew off. Chapter 3862 Unbelievable Senior, do you know what called me? Asked Long Chen as he flew. I know, answered the dragon expert lightly. Can you tell me? probed Long Chen. If I told you, you'd think that I set it up and accuse me of being bothersome. You might even be such a stubborn donkey that you'd intentionally go against me, said the dragon expert irritably. Long Chen was embarrassed but not angered. He knew that this dragon expert's origins were shocking. Who knew just how powerful it was? The dragon race was innately prideful. For it to give Long Chen guidance, 
and then get ignored was just too much for it. It was naturally displeased. Senior is joking. I actually like to listen to other people's advice. Listening to others can fill your stomach, said Long Chen awkwardly. Give it up. I understand now. Once you get the bit in your mouth, no one can drag it out. This temper of yours. Although it's annoying, I like it. Once you decide on something, you aren't easily swayed. It is a clear and decisive character. Even though you are so foolish that you make my teeth hurt sometimes, most of the time, you are very satisfactory, said the dragon expert. Ee hee, this is just me. Mountains and rivers change, but people don't. Don't lower yourself to my level, said Long Chen with a laugh when he heard this. It seemed that the dragon expert wasn't truly angry. Lower myself to your level. Do I seem so petty? said the dragon expert disdainfully. I have seen some things, but I don't want to speak of them. I am disgusted with the human race, but I also don't understand the human race. Through you, I want to learn why the human race is called this world's most complicated life form, why they possess the power to destroy this entire world. But you little fellow, you really are a marvel. You can be deathly smart and deathly stupid at the same time. I really can't understand your human race. Long Chen was instantly embarrassed, not knowing if he was being praised or scolded. Thus, he didn't know how to reply. Not knowing what to say, Long Chen simply continued flying. His mind then sank into the primal chaos space. The primal chaos space was thriving. The moon trees and fusang trees were already three feet tall. Seeing this, Long Chen carefully took out his dagger and cut the sprout of a moon tree in the middle, planting its upper half in the soil again. He found that this half quickly spread roots. The primal chaos space was truly marvelous. Even this worked. With this, he began to cut the moon trees and plant even more of them. The primal chaos space was filled with life energy, to the point that even legendary trees like the moon tree and fusang tree were growing at a visible speed. As for that one corpse he had tossed into the black soil, it still hadn't changed at all. It was still unleashing an enormous amount of life energy. It was astonishing. It was also releasing a large amount of primal chaos chi, but this primal chaos chi was absorbed by the primal chaos space itself. It seemed to be undergoing its own silent transformation, but Long Chen was unable to sense what exactly was changing. The inside of the primal chaos space was growing crazily. The moon trees and fusen trees were constantly growing, and he continued to plant more of them. However, after planting more and more of them, he suddenly found that the new sprouts he planted didn't survive. When he planted one, it rotted and vanished into nothingness. What? Long Chen was bewildered. He had never seen such a thing before in the primal chaos space. Whether it is the moon trees or the sun trees, a single world can only have three thousand of each, not one more. This is an inescapable part of the laws of the Grand Tao, transmitted the dragon expert. The laws of the Grand Tao. Three thousand major Tao's? The three thousand worlds? Is there some connection between them? asked Long Chen, feeling shocked. You should slowly research this kind of thing yourself. In this world, many numbers are filled with profundities. Also, the Grand Tao is not something that can simply be spoken of. You should rely on your own comprehension, said the dragon expert. Long Chen nodded. It seemed that this might touch upon the secrets of the world. The dragon expert also couldn't explain it too clearly. Long Chen counted. Just as the dragon expert said, there were exactly 3,000 moon trees and 3,000 fusang trees. When he planted another one, it could not grow. He sighed inside. This world was truly full of secrets. It was like a giant sea. 
and he was nothing more than a tiny boat on top of it. All of his understanding was nothing more than a speck of water in this great sea. This unknown world was truly mysterious. The primal chaos space now had three thousand fusang trees and three thousand moon trees. As they crazily absorbed life energy, they reached a height of three meters. They were covered in golden and black flames. Those were the sun flame and the moon flame. At this moment, Huo Linger had taken the form of a flame dragon and was almost transparent. Clearly, that final attack of hers had exhausted almost all of her energy, and she was in a weak state. Huo Linger was currently drooling over the moon trees and the fusang trees. All right, that's about enough. You can slowly absorb their flame energy to recover. However, you can only absorb a tiny bite from each one. Alternate the ones you absorb so as to not affect their growth. After all, if you leave them healthy, you'll always have more, said Long Chen. Hearing this, Huo Linger was instantly revitalized. She then charged toward one of the moon trees and took a bite. As a result, those flames on it instantly dimmed, but Huo Linger's body actually solidified with that one bite. It could be seen just how beneficial this one bite was. The moon flame was truly powerful. Even in this tiny, weak state, it was a fat piece of meat to Huo Linger. Huo Linger quickly recovered as she started taking bites of the flames. It seemed that after two rounds of all the trees, she would be fully recovered. The moon trees and fusan trees were truly amazing. Just their companion flames were already priceless treasures. Even without the mature trees, Long Chen was already profiting from them. This trip to the heavenly tomb had benefited Long Chen immensely. Thinking of his gains, Long Chen thought of the bronze cauldron. His mind then left the primal chaos space and into his spiritual space. Within his spiritual sea, the bronze cauldron silently floated before the divine gate. It hadn't changed in the slightest and didn't give off a single ripple. Long Chen couldn't even sense any fluctuations from it. Curious. Didn't you accept me as master? Why can't I sense you at all? Long Chen looked at the cauldron questioningly. He was trying to commune with it with his soul. It's useless. It is in slumber. The master acknowledgement ceremony was done completely based on instinct. Also, with your current spiritual strength, you cannot awaken it. Little fellow, this was your greatest gain this time. He he, just wait. It will give you endless pleasant surprises, said the dragon expert with a laugh. Suddenly, he heard rumbling ahead, so his mind left his spiritual space. This land was a wasteland, and there were long cracks in the sky like scars from a terrible battle. Those cracks were filled with tumbling spatial blades. There was also lightning flashing, like the devil's maw bearing its fangs at Long Chen. I've arrived. Looking at these cracks, Long Chen took a deep breath. He then walked into one of those spatial cracks just like that. Long Chen. The instant Long Chen stepped into this spatial crack, a startled cry rang out. Long Chen then looked toward that voice and quivered. He couldn't believe his eyes. Family Head. Chapter 3000. 863 God Sealing Seal Long Chen saw a twisted space before him. It was like a flowing stream. Through this twisted space, he saw a vague figure and also a spatial gate. That figure was standing in front of this spatial gate. Although his vision wasn't clear, Long Chen instantly knew why this aura was so familiar. This man was the Yuo family's leader, his grandfather on his mother's side, Liuo Zichuan. It seems that the one I sensed before was you. I didn't expect to see you again here. Liuo Zichuan smiled with gratification through space. You've grown more, getting stronger and stronger. Good, very good. Family head, why are you here? Long Chen was emotional. He hadn't expected to run into Liuo Zichuan here. 
He was about to walk over when Liuo Zichuan shouted at him, Don't move. Although it looks like there's only a short distance between us, it's actually a great distance. If you take one wrong step, I don't know where you'll be drawn to by the chaotic flow of space. Concentrate. Have your aura form a resonance with the surrounding spatial fluctuations. Don't resist. Once you reach the point of allowing the spatial fluctuations to pass through your body, I will teach you how to walk over. Long Chen calmed himself after Luo Zichuan said this. Suppressing his excitement, he acted according to Luo Zichuan's method. He gradually accustomed himself to the surrounding spatial fluctuations. He quickly managed to reach the point where his blood chi and spiritual fluctuations reached in equilibrium with the surrounding spatial fluctuations. It was as if the spatial energy in the surroundings flowed through him, as if he was one with this space. Good. Now, use your spiritual strength to probe the surroundings. See if you can see something, said Luo Zichuan. Footprints. Violet footprints, exclaimed Long Chen. Excellent. Follow those footprints over. Do not take one step away, said Luo Zichuan. Long Chen nodded. He carefully walked across those violet footsteps, which were left behind by Luo Zichuan. Curiously, they looked to twist and spiral in arcs, yet when Long Chen walked across them, he found that he was walking in a straight line. By following these footprints, Long Chen quickly crossed this chaotic space and arrived in front of Luo Zichuan. Luo Zichuan appeared the same as ever, but now there was a hint of weariness in his eyes. Seeing his grandfather, Long Chen hastily bowed. Luo Zichuan was also moved. To be able to see Long Chen here was a surprise. How did you get here? asked Luo Zichuan. After Long Chen explained about the opening of the Three Thousand Worlds, Liuo Zichuan nodded. So that's the case. The descent of the Three Thousand Worlds compressed space. That's why the chaotic flow of space here has grown more active. Long Chen looked at the spatial gate behind Liuo Zichuan. Seeing countless violet runes on it, he asked, Family Head, is this your construction? You wanted to enter the Three Thousand Worlds. Yuo Zichuan shook his head. This spatial gate was constructed by me, but it leads to another world. It's a good thing that you came. You can help me out. But what happened to your eye? Will it affect your combat power? Yuo Zichuan looked at Long Chen's eye patch curiously. It's fine. It's just a minor injury and won't affect my fighting. But I did just experience a large battle and haven't recovered to my peak state. If you give me another day, I will be mostly recovered, said Long Chen hastily. Yuo Zichuan nodded. All right, then start recovering now. Once you are in your peak state, we will join forces and see if we can open the God Sealing Seal. Long Chen didn't know what this God Sealing Seal was, but he didn't ask further. He sat down and focused entirely on recovering. The wounds on his physical body had long since healed. However, his soul had yet to fully recover. If he wanted to be in his peak state, he had to fully recover his spiritual strength. As Long Chen recovered, Yuo Zichuan also focused on recovery as Violet Kai flowed around him. His blood Kai energy was many times stronger than Long Aoshin's. If Long Aoshin were to meet Yuo Zichuan, he would definitely be shocked. Yuo Zichuan's blood kai had countless runes flowing within it. Every rune was like an entire world, and they were all linked. It was like a starry sea. In comparison, Long Aoshin's violet blood was like a plate of loose sand, so there was no way for him to unleash his violet blood's true power. They were in completely different dimensions. A day later, Long Chen opened his eyes. He was fully recovered. At this moment, he had the urge to find Long Aoshin for another battle. However, when Long Chen saw the endless violet sea behind Luo Zichuan, 
he was stunned. They were both immortal kings, but Liuo Zichuan's blood Kai energy was absolutely terrifying. It was like an entire cosmos was displayed before him. This sight shook him to his core. This is the true power of violet blood. It's practically an unrivaled divine blood. Nonsense. The unrivaled divine blood is my true dragon race's dragon blood. What do you know? The dragon expert's dissatisfied voice rang out in Long Chen's mind at his comment to himself. Once you obtain my Dragon King reverse scale, you will understand what a true unrivaled blood is. Just then, Liuo Zichuan woke up as well. His violet blood manifestation was put away. He seemed even sharper, like an unsheathed sword. Long Chen, the inside of this spatial gate is the God Sealing Seal. The God Sealing Seal is its own world filled with corpse devils. When I left the Liuo family, I came here and started slaying those corpse devils. Just one month ago, I finished killing the one billion world king corpse devils inside. However, the final eighteen divine venerate corpse devils have stopped me. I tried three times and failed all three, said Liuo Zichuan, eyeing the gate darkly. Then, those corpse devils definitely aren't ordinary, said Long Chen. Those billion world king corpse devils were all on the level of supremes. As for the eighteen divine venerates, they are double supremes, said Liu Zichuan. Long Chen jumped in shock. One billion world king supremes, as well as eighteen divine venerate double supremes? The god sealing seals space is a passageway to the violet blood race's prison. Our violet blood race has been sealed behind it for trillions of years without being able to leave. Who knows how painful it is for them inside? As descendants of the violet blood race, we must assist them. We will save our ancestors. Let's go. Today, us men will join forces. Yuo Zichuan stepped into the spatial gate with Long Chen. As soon as they entered, an ominous murderous aura crashed upon them. Chapter 3864 Combined attack Long Chen had just stepped in when a murderous aura made him feel like he had fallen into an ice house. Goosebumps covered his skin. He saw endless corpses. They were like a vast sea, like surging mountains, and they stretched beyond the horizon. These corpses were terrifying greater demons, supreme world kings. Also, the ancient runes on their bodies emitted a desolate kai that was very similar to the corpses in the heavenly tomb. In other words, these were species from that ancient era. The monsters from back then were many times stronger than the ones now. But so many had died here. The majority of these corpses were mangled. Some had even been cut in two by a sharp blade. Those corpses still had violet light on their wounds. From this mark, Long Chen knew that they were killed by Liuo Zichuan. Furthermore, Liuo Zichuan's actions were clean. Looking at those wounds, Long Chen could practically see how he had cut through their monstrous bodies like melons. When Long Chen had gone to the Liuo family for the first time, he had been completely suppressed by Liuo Zichuan. In their fight, he had been unable to even retaliate. At that time, Long Chen thought that Liuo Zichuan had relied on his realm to suppress him. However, even now that he was also an immortal king, Long Chen felt that Liuo Zichuan was an absolutely terrifying existence. Looking at those wounds that were as sleek as glass, he knew that Liuo Zichuan's power was highly concentrated. This kind of phenomenon would only occur when none of his power leaked out. Concentrating all one's power wasn't difficult for experts like them. What was impossible, though, was for this power to not leak out at all even after striking the core runes and powerful defenses of these immemorial creatures. Even with Long Chen's immense power and profound control, this was something impossible. This level of minute control required perfect mastery over one's power and spiritual fluctuations. It was no longer a matter of talent. It was something that could be honed through endless time experiencing intense battles. 
this control was practically the pinnacle of the Tao, something untouchable. Long Chen was first shocked by these corpses, but his eyes quickly lit up. He directly reached out and grabbed all of them. At this time, the single corpse on the black soil had only been half decomposed. It was too slow. In other words, a corpse on this level was so powerful that even the black soil's devouring power was less effective. However, when he tossed these new corpses into it, the black soil quickly devoured them. Although they weren't as powerful as the corpses from the heavenly tomb, they were worth something. Furthermore, with their numbers, the amount of life energy being unleashed now is even greater than what came from that single corpse. As these corpses were thrown in, the moon trees and fusang trees rapidly grew. Even the seven treasure-colored glass tree at the core of this land began to grow. Its rainbow radiance grew even more mysterious. What do you want those corpses for? Yuo Zichuan couldn't help asking when he saw Long Chen gathering them like they were treasures. Fertilizer. These corpses are very important to me, said Long Chen with a chortle. In just a moment, the moon trees and fusing trees already grew to thirty meters. The flames on their bodies also grew denser, their flame fluctuations becoming more intense. Also, Huo Linger had already recovered, but as the trees grew stronger, she almost went crazy with joy and began absorbing their flame energy again. She was like a landlord demanding payment from her farmers. She was constantly gathering their fruit. Fortunately, Huo Linger was smart and only absorbed a tiny bite from each tree so as to not affect their growth. As she absorbed the sun flames and the moon flames, her aura grew stronger. With them as fertilizer, she nourished her ice soul source. This source energy then grew stronger and stronger, to a shocking level. The full one billion corpses were thrown into the primal chaos space, piling into a giant mountain at the core of the primal chaos space. Even with the black soil's terrifying devouring speed, it would require some time to digest them all. An enormous gate quickly appeared ahead of them as they advanced through this world. This gate had a circular seal on it. Long Chen could see eighteen ancient beasts, totems carved into the seal. Moreover, those totems seemed alive. When Long Chen approached them, a terrifying killing intent locked onto him. This is the god sealing seal. There are eighteen ancient beast corpse devils sealed inside and they are different from the other life forms here. First, they emit endless devil kai. And second, they are double supremes that are a merger of devil root and demonic blood, and they are all in the divine venerate realm. I tried to kill them three times and failed every time. The first time I was almost killed. Do not be careless. Once we start, you must immediately use your full power, warned Liuo Zichuan gravely. Family head at your realm isn't fighting them directly too disadvantageous? Asked Long Chen. Liuo Zichuan said, that's how it's set up. If you want to activate the seal, your cultivation base must be in the immortal king realm. If it weren't for that restriction, I wouldn't have suppressed my cultivation base. Back then, I was planning to do this with Ningxuan. Yuo Zichuan shut his mouth, but Long Chen already understood. Yuo Zichuan's original plan was for Yuo Ningxuang and her future child to join forces with him to open this seal. Unfortunately, his mother fled to the lower plane and married Long Janshan, resulting in Long Chen being born. Because of this, the plans that Yuo Zichuan had spent countless years preparing were ruined. For him to shut his mouth suddenly, it was to avoid Long Chen feeling guilty. He then continued, These eighteen corpse devils are incomparably ferocious. But after three tries, I figured out the rules behind them. Together, they are in a set formation, and their blood kiss are linked. This means that the combined power of all eighteen of them can be instantly unleashed in one go. The first time I fought them, I almost died because of that move. 
eighteen double supreme divine venerates that know a combination technique long chen jumped in shock if the power of all eighteen of them was concentrated together just who could resist but luo zichuan had actually survived in a bit i will activate it using a secret arch i'll drag away seventeen of them as for you your mission is to immediately kill the last one in a single blow as long as you can kill a single one their formation will be ruined after that we can easily cut them down one by one said luo zichuan family head are you sure long chen was startled yuo zichuan wanted to handle seventeen of them himself yuo zichuan smiled slightly and patted long chen's shoulder let's start yuo zichuan raised the violet fern divine saber violet kai then erupted like the tide and rushed toward the seal chapter three thousand eight hundred sixty five pointers are you prepared yuo zichuan stopped a few miles from the gate and looked at long chen long chen nodded and took a deep breath after that his seven color divine ring appeared behind him and the seven colors flowed smoothly this immense power then tore at the dome of the heavens the void was squeezed by this power to the point that the laws of this world rumbled yuo zichuan looked at the violet color in long chen's divine ring after that the slightest ripple appeared in his eyes and his expression became a bit complicated seven star battle armor in front of luo zichuan long chen didn't conceal anything he shouted and seven stars lit up on his divine ring all of long chen's power was unleashed like a volcano erupting long chen's power instantly reached its peak if it was before long chen would have to activate each star one by one but after his fight with long aoshin he had mastered his new power and could directly unleash it without worrying about his body not being able to bear it a starry sea appeared in his divine ring containing one hundred eight thousand shining stars a starry sea also appeared in the sky as if the cosmos had descended into the dome of the heavens yuo zichuan was finally moved long chen's power was even greater than he had expected your potential is truly astonishing unfortunately your violet kai is lacking if you had the assistance of our yuo family's violet blood your power would at least rise by ten times your control would also be a hundred times greater yuo zichuan looked at the raging violet kai in the starry sea and sighed regretfully as a peak expert he instantly saw through long chen's shortcomings although long chen's aura was powerful and astonishing his full power was still leaking although long chen himself felt that he was under complete control of this new power in yuo zichuan's eyes this level of control wasn't worth anything if your control is lacking then your actual power will be reduced by at least half when you unleash your power the compression of the laws and spatial resistance will silently grind away the majority of it imagine your full power attack is striking countless pellets even those light collisions will disperse most of your power that is especially true the moment your power is unleashed even if only a trace is leaked it will greatly reduce the full eruption of your power show me one of your attacks said luo zichuan wang chen slashed his saber the void shook and a giant saber image tore through heaven and earth cutting a bottomless ditch in this world after seeing this luo zichuan shook his head you only have power but no control it seems that i taught you last time for nothing although the heavenly dows had some rejection of you last time it wasn't the full heavenly dows last time you already grasped the feeling but now that feeling is gone your power has grown and you've started suppressing the heavenly dows once more the heavenly dows have now become the resistance it is like you are swinging your saber in water the greater your power the greater the resistance i understand long chen was a bit ashamed he then closed his eyes and focused on himself 
After a moment, he once more slashed his saber. This attack contained the same amount of power behind it. However, the rumbling sound was much quieter, and it was slightly faster. After that, another bottomless ditch appeared in the ground. It was much thinner than before. Yuo Zichuan nodded. Your comprehension ability is good. A single pointer is enough for you. And that last attack was not bad. However, against the corpse devils that we are about to fight, it's still not enough. If you cannot kill your target in a single attack, we will have to retreat. They won't give us another chance. This seal will instantly heal the injured corpse devils, returning them to the seal. They'll then come back out at full power. Long Chen gasped. This seal not only had restrictions for any incomer's cultivation bases, but it also had such recovery abilities. It was absolutely monstrous. Long Chen, you don't have violet blood energy, so you cannot reach the point of absolute control. But your spiritual strength is very powerful. When you attack, don't look at your target. Just focus your mind on the edge of your blade. That will reduce the amount of energy leaked. This kind of attack won't work on other enemies. But at this moment, it will have the greatest effect. Try it. Long Chen acted according to Yuo Zichuan's pointers, and his mind sank into the edge of his saber. He then ignored everything else and slashed his saber, producing only a light sound in the void. It was like a thin piece of paper being sliced in two. After that, a thirty-meter ditch appeared in the ground. His first attack had left a giant ditch many miles wide. The second ditch was about a few miles wide, and this one was about thirty meters wide. From this, Long Chen instantly understood. The more concentrated his power, the greater damage it could cause. When Liuo Zichuan killed these life forms, he also used such a method. It was clear from the wounds he had left behind on them. Yuo Zichuan's power was highly concentrated. Even runes, scale armors, and bones were unable to cause his power to disperse. That was what resulted in those wounds that looked like sliced tofu. Furthermore, according to Yuo Zichuan, as long as Long Chen possessed violet blood, his control would increase a hundred times. Even if he didn't reach that level, he wouldn't be that far off. Fuck, Long Aoshin, just wait. I'm only leaving my things with you for now. When the time comes, I'll take everything back plus interest. Long Chen now thirsted for his violet blood even more. Only now did he know just how terrifying his violet blood was. It wasn't just the violet blood, but there was also his seven-color supreme blood along with his spirit root and spirit bone. Fuck, why am I even working so hard? As long as I take back what's mine, I'll instantly be unrivaled. Would I need to do all this? Long Chen's random train of thought was broken by Yuo Zichuan. Because you focused your entire mind on it, your spiritual strength was concentrated on the edge of your saber. But like this, you won't be able to lock onto your target. So, before we attack, you have to make a mark on where your saber is to land to avoid missing. That's no problem, right? No problem, assured Long Chen. He had Huo linger and Lei linger, so there was no way he would miss. Then let's start. Yuo Zichuan took a single step forward. The instant he took that step, the eighteen totems lit up. Following that, eighteen enormous figures charged out. The roars of demonic beasts shook their ears when these eighteen ominous demonic beasts opened their mounts at the same time. After that, they unleashed eighteen sharp swords of light at the two of them. The terrifying pressure made it impossible for Long Chen to move. He was fully locked down. If he were to directly receive the combined attacks of eighteen double supreme divine venerates, would there be any chance of survival for him? Just then, Yuo Zichuan made his move. Forming hand seals, a violet blood shield condensed in front of him and smashed toward those eighteen rays of light. 
Chapter 3866 Violet Blood Divine Shield Violet Blood Divine Shield Yuo Zichuan shouted, and the blood shield in front of him smashed into the eighteen rays of divine light. Boom! With a heaven-shaking explosion, those eighteen rays of light exploded along with the blood shield. He forcibly received this sudden attack. The moment the blood shield exploded, it transformed into chains winding toward those monsters. After that, the violet blood sea behind Luo Zichuan surged. His full power erupted. Those corpse devils had just attacked and had yet to store up energy, so they were instantly bound by the chains. Those chains were stretched, taut by their intense struggle. Suddenly, one of them roared. It spread its arms, shattering the chains binding it, and it charged out. This life form was a two winged tiger. The runes covering its body made it look like it was made out of gold. However, the moment it escaped from Luo Zichuan's bindings, the aura of the other seventeen life forms instantly dropped a bit. Long Chen realized that this was Luo Zichuan's method for dealing with them. These eighteen life forms possessed a combination technique to gather all of their power. Split the heavens four. Long Chen immediately attacked. A giant saber image tore through the dome of the heavens. At this moment, the power of his blood kai astral energy and the full might of the nine stars were gathered in this one attack. Boom. The two winged tiger was struck head on. The Minghong saber slashed onto its head and blood spurted out of Long Chen's hand. The Minghong saber could only enter its skull and then stop. Long Chen could no longer pull it out. The tiger roared furiously. After that, white light appeared in its mouth and a fist-sized spear instantly grew to an enormous size, thrumming with destructive power. A sensation of deathly danger enveloped Long Chen. World Extermination Flame Lotus Long Chen had long since been prepared. At this moment, the Flame Lotus he had been preparing in his left hand shot out. The tiger didn't even have a chance to unleash its attack before a fist-sized Flame Lotus struck it. Boom. That sphere was directly detonated by the flame lotus. It exploded in its mouth, blowing apart the tiger's head. Long Chen already summoned a flame shield, but he was still blown back far into the distance. His blood kai flipped inside of him, and he almost coughed up blood. That winged tiger's attack was absolutely terrifying. Keep going. Yuo Zichuan's expression changed, and he shouted. Long Chen was startled. Even after the tiger's head exploded, it wasn't dead. Its fatal weak spot was not its crystal core, but its need. At this moment, its body shot toward the totem. Long Chen hastily used his lightning to rush there ahead of it. If it reached the totem, all of this would be for nothing. According to Yuo Zichuan, it would instantly heal and come charging back out. The Ming-Ong saber once more slashed down. After that, Long Chen began to chat. A giant white lotus condensed in his hand, and he smashed it at the tiger as well. Boom! His saber attack was no longer the technique that Luo Zichuan had told him to use, concentrating all his power into a single fin thread of an attack. Instead, it was a huge area attack just to stall the tiger. His true killing blow was the White Flame Lotus. This was a full power attack containing the ice soul source energy and Long Chen's spiritual strength. The winged tiger was devoured by this White Lotus just as it reached Long Chen. After that, terrifying icy flames unfurl. The winged tiger's body was blasted into the distance. But what shocked Long Chen was that even as its flesh was blown off, its skeleton didn't fall apart. At the core of this skeleton was its Needon, which was still sparkling with divine light. As long as the Needon was not destroyed, this winged tiger would not die. Long Chen was shocked. This winged tiger's physical body was probably not much weaker than those seventy-two corpses he had encountered in the heavenly tomb. Suddenly, 
a violet sabre silently slashed down and cut that wing tighter in two, crushing its need in. Yuo Zichuan had attacked. However, Yuo Zichuan coughed up blood. He was already holding back seventeen of these monsters. Now that he also helped Long Chen, the distraction caused him to receive an injury from the seventeen of them. Grand for family head, Long Chen was ashamed. Yuo Zichuan was dealing with seventeen of these monsters, while Long Chen actually needed his help just to deal with one, even causing him to be injured. The Ming Hong saber then rumbled in Long Chen's hand. The seventeen life forms roared furiously and opened their mouths again. Seeing this scene, he shot toward them. Don't be impetuous. Seeing Long Chen turn toward them, Liuo Zichuan was annoyed even though he was also moved. Long Chen was willing to risk his life to protect him. While that was manly, it was no different than sending himself to his death. It was stupid. Violet blood heaven merger, one with the cosmos. Violet Kai flowed out of Liuo Zichuan, condensing into a huge net in front of Long Chen. When seventeen rays of divine light struck that net, the violet kai surged. All the energy from this attack was then sent rushing out of the eight main strands of the net, just like that the power of these seventeen life forms was dispersed. Dust and dirt flew, and the entire world almost flipped because of their power. Just like that, Liuo Zichuan managed to resolve the current crisis. Yuo Zichuan then attacked with his violet fern saber. When the violet divine light flashed, another one of these immemorial life forms was killed. Its head was split open, its devil core shattered. Kill them as quickly as possible, shouted Yuo Zichuan. Hearing this command, Long Chen attacked with the Mingong saber, causing his target's protective divine light to shatter. Just then, Yuo Zichuan's saber fell and that life form was cut in two. Yuo Zichuan's saber didn't unleash any saber image or saber kai. Instead, its sharpness was fully concentrated on the edge of the blade without leaking any energy at all. With the support of his violet kai, nothing could stop him. Long Chen was powerful, but he lacked Yuo Zichuan's control. Thus, he directly chose to focus on creating opportunities for Liuo Zichuan to kill them. Grandfather and grandson worked together and slaughtered these life forms one by one. When the final one was dead, Long Chen felt like he was out of energy. The intensity of this battle was not at all inferior to his fight against Long Yashin. He could barely raise his arms after this, and his body felt like it would fall apart. These life forms were too terrifying. They took a brief break before Liuo Zichuan walked over to that gate. The beast totem seal on it slowly dissipated. After taking a deep breath, he pressed both hands on the gate. But then Liuo Zichuan coughed up blood and was sent flying back. Family head. Long Chen was shocked and hastily supported Liuo Zichuan. Was everything for naught. Yuo Zichuan looked at the gate with fury and unwillingness. Chapter 3867 Claiming Blood Yuo Zichuan's chest was dyed with blood. He instantly grew listless, as if he had lost the majority of his blood kai. With Long Chen's support, he stood and stared at that gate dispiritedly. Even after reaching this point, is it still a failure? Family head, what is going on? asked Long Chen. He didn't know what the problem was. He knew that Liuo Zichuan was wise, a natural leader, and strategist. For something this major, he had to have planned and calculated things countless times. How could it be a failure right at the end? Liuo Zichuan didn't reply. He was just staring at the gate, and Long Chen didn't dare to disturb him. He knew that Liuo Zichuan was calculating how to open the gate. After a couple of hours, Liuo Zichuan shook his head and sighed. Sometimes a person's power is limited. Some things cannot be resolved with just the mind. Family head, tell me. What is going on? 
you're making me die of curiosity said long chen if it was anyone else long chen would have long since grown impatient but when it came to his grandfather he didn't dare to be so brash my violet blood isn't pure enough so i cannot open this gate perhaps this is all fate it isn't something that humans can defy yuo zichuan sighed helplessly then what if we found my mother wouldn't it be yuo zichuan was shaking his head your mother is already a divine venerate she cannot come here yuo zichuan suddenly looked at long chen his thinking was seen through he was thinking of finding where his mother was long chen acted like he had no idea and said what if someone with powerful violet blood also came and worked together with you then could you open it opening this gate is not something that can be done by gathering a great deal of violet blood it is only possible when a person's violet blood reaches the necessary level of purity but in the yuo family other than your mother no one can compare to me as for the other branches of the violet blood race they don't even know this secret furthermore even if they are descendants of the violet blood race they aren't all worthy of trust there's nothing that can be done let's go we cannot stay in this sealed world for too long or we won't be able to find the entrance next time we can think of something later yuo zichuan slowly collected himself in an instant he seemed to have aged a great deal his figure looked lonesome family head i have a method to open this gate can you give me some time asked long chen you have a method truly yuo zichuan looked at him in surprise he knew that long chen's character was impetuous but he was very reliable so he wouldn't randomly make such claims hearing this yuo zichuan was instantly revitalized i am ninety percent sure said long chen he was thinking of long aoshin as long as he could claim long aoshin's blood then adding on yuo zichuan's violet blood energy they could definitely open this gate ninety percent then let's try it again however i can only stay in this space for three months after three months the spatial displacement will be too much if i try to keep it here any longer space will shatter it will then be impossible to get back here said yuo zichuan three months that's enough tell him not to worry the dragon expert's voice rang out in long chen's mind hearing that long chen was even more confident and immediately agreed family head do my techniques and fighting style have many problems even with the same power the difference in our attacks is incredible long chen couldn't help asking for advice from liuo zichuan just now liuo zichuan had killed those immemorial greater demons like slicing melons but long chen's power was explosive and only blew them back failing to cut through them long chen knew that despite being in the same realm the two were still far from being on the same level you foolish child what are you asking for his path doesn't suit yours don't waste your time even before liu zichuan said anything the dragon expert was already speaking for him as for liu zichuan after pondering it for a moment he shook his head when i think back to the pointers that i gave you before i feel a bit regretful i shouldn't have taught you what long chen was dumbfounded in this world there is no one size fits all there is no technique that is perfect for everyone my fighting style doesn't suit you if you try to imitate me you will produce the opposite effect the power in your body is too immense and mixed as for myself i only control one kind of power although you are unable to concentrate all your power limiting its destructive power the area of effect is much greater it will compress space giving you a sharper sense of your surroundings in a chaotic battle that is an advantage furthermore it is impossible for you to calm your heart this is your character and no one can change such a thing 
your fighting style suits you. On the other hand, my fighting style is only something you can use as a reference. It would be best if you didn't try to imitate it, said Yuo Zichuan. Yuo Zichuan's words actually echoed the words of the dragon expert. Long Chen very much admired Liuo Zichuan's control. The difference in their fighting styles could be compared to using the body of the saber to smack people versus using the edge of the blade to slice through people. The body of the blade was larger, but its killing power was definitely inferior to the edge of the blade. After hearing them both say such a thing, Long Chen temporarily set this aside. It seemed that he would only be able to rely on himself to adapt his own fighting style. He was the one who knew best what kind of fighting style suited him. Long Chen, if you really have a method, then let's gamble. Our violet blood race has countless members trapped behind this gate. Everything will be up to you. Yuo Zichuan patted Long Chen's shoulder solemnly. Family head, don't worry, just leave it to me. Long Chen nodded. He knew that this was Luo Zichuan's greatest wish in his lifetime. If Long Chen could accomplish this, that would be enough to redeem what his mother had done. If Luo Zichuan forgave his mother, then the entire Luo family would forgive her. After that, the father and daughter could be reunited, their estrangement over. Thus, this was a must-do for Long Chen. Luo Zichuan was left alone in this world. After Long Chen put away the corpses of those greater demons, he followed the steps that Liu Zichuan had left. He went out of this chaotic space, returning to the three thousand worlds through the spatial crack. Long Chen made a mark in this place, as well as leaving a formation disk here. As long as he was close enough, he could directly do a spatial transportation here. Go to the right, said the dragon expert. Long Aoshin is in that direction? asked Long Chen. Are you trying to send yourself to your death? Long Aoshin has found a place to absorb primal chaos Kai. He wants to fully activate his seven color supreme blood and violet blood. If you go now, you won't be a match for him. I want to bring you to find my Dragon King reverse scale. As long as you merge with my Dragon King reverse scale, you won't get beaten by those fellows, said the Dragon Expert. But the time, everything is within control. There will be time. Stop wasting words and hurry. With the Dragon Expert urging him on, Long Chen flew off in a certain direction. Chapter 3868 Dragon Burial Land Long Chen was like a shooting star piercing through the void. His lightning wings pushed his speed to the peak. As he flew, he saw eruptions of primal chaos kite in the distance around him. Countless life forms fought over those places, so bloody battles were everywhere. Looking at those eruptions and the soaring pillars of primal chaos Kai, Long Chen truly wished to go fight for some as well. As Long Chen flew, he saw more than ten such locations. These treasure lands were all different. For some, the primal chaos Kai eruptions were small, only emitting pillars of primal chaos Kai a few hundred meters thick. However, for the large ones, the pillars could be thousands of miles thick. The greater the scale, the more numerous the life forms present, and the greater the competition. Even from this distance, Long Chen could see them roaring and tearing at each other in a bloody battle. In order to gain more primal chaos Kai, they were going crazy. Senior, should I first go compete for some primal chaos Kai as well? Long Chen's eyes reddened as he looked at those surging pillars of primal chaos Kai. Primal chaos Kai was the original energy of heaven and earth. It was the purest kind of energy. So, the more primal chaos Kai that a person controlled, the greater their control over heaven and earth's energy would be, and the more familiar they would feel toward the heavenly Tao's. It was something that Long Chen urgently needed. Who cares about this tiny bit of primal chaos, Kai? Let me tell you, 
This primal chaos chi is only the slightest taste of what is to come. At this initial stage, both the quantity and quality of the primal chaos chi are lacking. The best time to fight for primal chaos chi is once the primal chaos chi eruption reaches the end. Fighting with these small fish now is meaningless, said the dragon expert disdainfully. Since the dragon expert had said this, Long Chan ignored the primal chaos chi eruptions for now. He didn't say much. In any case, listening to the dragon expert couldn't be wrong. Long Chen flew for three days. As time passed, he saw fewer and fewer eruptions. On the final day, he didn't even see a single pillar of primal chaos chi. He couldn't help asking, Senior, are you sure that we're not going in the wrong direction? We didn't end up running to the edge of this world, did we? Nonsense. We'll arrive soon, said the dragon expert irritably. Just as it said this, Long Chen's essence blood began to heat up. It felt like it was boiling as he felt an intense summons. Furthermore, at this time, a mass of broken space appeared before him. It was like a broken gate. Through this gate, he saw a desolate world. Once he got close to this gate, Long Chen's heart pounded wildly. He saw countless dragon corpses and a great amount of dragon kai in this place. When the mist rose through the air, those skeletons seemed to fade in and out of the mist. After that, a sacred dragon might that was wrapped in primal chaos kai blasted at Long Chen. A dragon roar came from Long Chen's soul. That roar seemed to come from far in the distant past and wanted to drag Long Chen out of reality and back into that ancient world. By the time Long Chen arrived here, countless other life forms were already absorbing the Dragon Kai. Most of these life forms were related to the Dragon race, and they were absorbing the Dragon Kai to nourish their own bodies. However, there were also some life forms with special divine items that were absorbing the Dragon Kai into storage receptacles. When Long Chen arrived, quite a few life forms looked at him warily. Some didn't even hesitate to unleash their killing intent. They had already occupied their own areas. Anyone who dared to get close would be attacked. What? Did I get here too late? Long Chen's expression changed. He saw endless dragon corpses littering the ground. Many life forms had already carved out their own territories. Ignore them. Keep going forward. This place is nothing more than the edge said the dragon expert. Long Chen continued flying forward. He ignored the life forms below and had no intention of fighting for their territories. With him flying high above, they didn't make things hard on him. Hey, little brother, wait a moment. I'm willing to share half of my territory with you. Just as Long Chen was flying by, a tall and muscular woman with a horn shouted loudly at him. Ignore her. She's from a branch of the coiled dragon race, the lied dragon race. They are all greedy and corrupt. As soon as they see someone of the opposite sex that they like, they'll try to copulate with them, not caring from which race, said the dragon expert disdainfully, clearly looking down on her. In fact, its tone was almost hateful. Long Chen looked at her. Her arms were thicker than his own legs, and her chest was like two large watermelons. She seemed to be about to drool when she looked at Long Chen. Upon seeing this, his hair stood on end, and he immediately shot off. Senior, isn't your entire dragon race very ah? Uh, lustful, asked Long Chen. Bullshit, who said that, raged the dragon expert. Aren't there stories? There's even an expression. The dragon has nine sons, all of them different. Isn't that because they mate with different life forms? Is that incorrect? Asked Long Chen. HMPH. The dragon race has three thousand major races and a million minor branches. Only those from the weaker branches will mate with other powerful life forms in hopes of improving their bloodline. It's merely self-preservation. 
the truly powerful races have powerful bloodline divine abilities, and they usually can't even awaken half of those divine abilities. If they aren't even done awakening their own divine abilities, why would they covet other races' divine abilities? Those dragons that copulate outside the dragon race are simply weak and have reached the limit of their own bloodline. It is the sacred dragon that transforms from the serpent to the python, the python to the drake, and the drake to the dragon. After experiencing countless dangers and tribulations, the sacred dragon transforms step by step, gradually gaining this sacred power. The dragon race's sacred dragon is the greatest existence in the dragon race. The dragon is the king of the beasts, and the sacred dragon is the emperor of the dragons. The sacred dragon's bloodline is the most sacred and noble bloodline. Do you think that such an existence would lower themselves by mixing their bloodline with other life forms? snorted the dragon expert disdainfully. Then are you a sacred dragon? probed Long Chen. What do you think? retorted the dragon expert. Why do I help you? Isn't it because our experiences are very similar? We are growing from weak to strong through experiencing countless dangerous trials, breaking through bloody bindings of fire, and walking the path of experts step by step. Thus, I am telling you that Luo Zichuan's cultivation path does not suit you. It is not just his path. Everyone's paths are different from yours and are not suitable for you. You should constantly accumulate experience and grasp your own comprehension from bloody battles. In the end, you will walk a path that only belongs to you, an unrivaled path that cannot be replicated, said the dragon expert profoundly. Long Chen nodded inside. The dragon expert's words resonated with him. Let alone you Ozichuan's path. Even the path of the nine-star hegemon body art was no longer his. He had to find his own path. As he advanced further, the dragon Kai grew stronger, and he heard dragon cries ringing out in waves. Those voices descended through the heavenly Tao's, transmitting to the present from the distant past. They were filled with an ancient feeling, as well as sorrow and fury. Suddenly, he heard a wild dragon roar that shook his heart. Looking toward it, he saw a giant golden dragon ten thousand meters long. It was coiled on the ground like a sleeping golden dragon. This giant dragon's head was looking toward the heavens as if it was roaring. Although it had been dead for countless years, its terrifying dragon pressure still caused all the surrounding space to twist. Long Chen was delighted. Senior, is this you? Are you stupid? I'm not dead yet, raged the dragon expert. Oh, oh, sorry. Long Chen hastily apologized. Long Chen's pupils suddenly shrank. He saw someone on top of that golden dragon's head. Someone had gotten here first. When Long Chen saw that person's face clearly, that person also saw Long Chen. The moment he saw Long Chen, his face twisted. The scar on his face made him look even more sinister. Long Chen, let's see how arrogant you can be without Xia Yuhong. Chapter 3869 Once more seeing Long Kinyan. Long Kinyan? Long Chen hadn't expected to run into this guy, who was from the same generation as Xia Yuhong. Back in the violet flame heaven capital, Long Chen had slapped him in the face. But after that, Yu Qingxuan came, so Long Chen simply ignored him. Later on, Long Qinyan lost his patience and furiously attacked him. Long Chen then ended up guiding his attack toward that irritating Yuna Chui, causing the latter to be injured. Although the two had yet to truly exchange blows, Long Qinyan possessed dragon blood power and was shockingly powerful. In his era, other than Xia Yuhong, he had never had anyone else be a match for him. Long Chen hadn't expected to run into him here. Seeing his murderous gaze, Long Chen disdainfully said, I, Long Chen, have been arrogant for a long time. What does it have to do with Big Brother Xia Yuhong? 
But as for you, are you okay? Does your face not hurt? Long Kinyon was enraged. The instant he thought of how he had been slapped in the face by Long Chen, his killing intent exploded like a volcano. He shouted, Long Chen, come and face your death. Little child, it seems that you've forgotten your lesson now that the pain has faded. Today, if I don't beat the crap out of you, you can count your ass tough. Long Chen had long since grown to hate Long Kinyin. Long Kinyin had despicably used Luo Kinying's death to antagonize Xia Guang. Due to this, Long Chen had been longing to beat him for a long time. Now his chance had come. Long Kinyin pointed his spear at Long Chen, arrogantly saying, Let's cut the crap. Come and fight. Ignore him. You have more important matters. Go around him said the dragon expert just as Long Chen was about to charge over. Ah, uh, isn't our target this golden dragon? Long Chen was startled. Ah, uh, this isn't a sacred dragon. Furthermore, I'm not dead. How could I leave behind a corpse? Did your brain break in the last battle? Cursed the dragon expert. Oh, oh. Long Chen clapped his forehead. He had been too shaken by this giant dragon's aura, so he had thought that this was the molting of this dragon expert. Little child, just wait. I'll put you in your place on my way back. Long Chen obediently ignored Long Kinyin and went around him. Gutless coward, you're running, raged Long Kinyin. Fool, if you have guts, then come fight me, sneered Long Chen. He was no fool. He knew that this fellow was absorbing this dragon's energy. Most likely, he was in a special state and could not leave the dragon's body. That was why he kept demanding Long Chen to come to him. You are just a gutless coward. You're as gutless as your big brother Xia Guhong, shouted Long Kinian, shouting like a fishwife. I can't be bothered to even pay you any attention. Long Chen disdainfully ignored him. All of a sudden, he noticed another giant dragon in the distance. He instantly guessed that the reason this fellow wanted him to stay behind was to prevent him from touching those other dragon corpses. Long Kinyin was quite greedy. Xia Guhong is trash, and you're trash too. Xia Guhong's beloved was killed, and you're definitely not going to have a better end. Long Kinyin continued hurling abuse. Long Chen's expression instantly changed. His body froze in the air, and he looked back at Long Kinyin. His killing intent instantly erupted. These words had touched upon his reverse scale. This fellow has obtained the inheritance of the ghost fox evil dragon. He's crafty. He has set up a trap with that dragon corpse, and is waiting for you to send yourself to your death. So keep ignoring him and hurry to my dragon scale. You can deal with him later, urged the dragon expert. Long Chen clenched his teeth furiously. Your mouth really is slutty. Next time I'll tear it off. Long Chen directly shut off his senses to avoid being further antagonized. He was really close to losing his patience and charging over. But even if he killed Long Kinyin, it wouldn't be worth it. Long Chen continued onward and saw another giant dragon corpse. This was also a dragon king's corpse. Although it had been dead for so many years, its blood kai wasn't withered at all. Its dragon might had yet to dissipate. There are three. Just then, he spotted another giant dragon body. Long Chen was shocked. There are a total of eighteen immemorial dragon kings. They are in a circle. Just hurry up to the core, said the dragon expert. Long Chen's heart shook. There were actually eighteen immemorial dragon kings here. He instantly thought of the warriors of the Dragon Blood Legion. Don't be in a rush. Once you place a spiritual mark on my dragon scale, you can summon them. Otherwise, considering the distances involved, any other messages will fail to reach them. The dragon expert seemed to see through Long Chen's thoughts. 
with long chen flying in the direction that the dragon expert indicated it wasn't long before he saw a blazing sun that golden light illuminated the world its light stabbing into the dome of the heavens this is although long chen knew that this dragon expert's reverse scale would definitely be a shocking existence he still hadn't expected this it was a giant reverse scale thousands of miles long it was floating in the air and the primal chaos kai was swirling around it like a protective barrier furthermore that terrifying divine might gradually appear when he got closer there was no dragon cry or berserk fluctuations instead there was only silence it was this silence that hid the power to destroy entire worlds it seemed to be in slumber once it was roused though who knew what would happen a stabbing pain struck long chen's physical body once he was closer his blood kai then surged and oozed out of his flesh golden blood came out of his skin what is going on exclaimed long chen don't worry your dragon king essence blood is from the bloodline of my descendant although it's weaker it's from the same source anyway our dragon race's bloodline grades are very strict after seeing my true dragon blood my descendants blood naturally retreats golden dragon blood oozed out of long chen's body forming golden chains that were like golden dragons wriggling toward that dragon scale the dragon expert continued when i told you to get that dragon scale it was preparation for today this dragon blood is the bridge that will awaken my dragon scale as long chen's dragon blood continuously flowed out of his body he quickly started to get dizzy he felt weak as his dragon blood was sucked dry eight chains now flowed out of his body and toward the dragon scale just when long chen felt like he would faint those chains finally pierced the barrier of primal chaos kai and struck the dragon scale the eight blood chains instantly ignited long chen could only grunt in pain and veins throbbed on his forehead at the same time as his essence blood was ignited his soul was burning as well however he knew that this was the only way to awaken the dragon scale he could only endure suddenly the silent dragon scale quivered ever so slightly following that countless runes lit up on it and the space around the dragon scale fracture quick place a spiritual mark don't shatter this barrier of primal chaos kai or everyone in the three thousand worlds will be drawn over ordered the dragon expert the half unconscious long chen was instantly startled away after forming hand seals his spiritual strength gushed toward the dragon scale chapter three thousand eight hundred seventy bloodline summoning when long chen's spiritual strength entered the dragon scale it was like ice falling into a burning hot piece of metal white smoke came out sharp pain directly struck long chen's soul this was even more painful than his soul igniting long chen's pain tolerance was already at a high level yet this pain made his face twist senior what's going on why is it rejecting my spiritual brand asked long chen while clenching his teeth in pain it has been off my body for too long so it has its own consciousness now originally it was not in this world this dragon burial land attracted it and it broke through space to come here to cultivate by absorbing the energy of these dragon corpses it protects its divinity and has now evolved it is using the primal chaos kai and dragon blood energy here to cultivate maybe within an additional twenty or thirty thousand years it will escape its limitations as a dragon scale becoming a dragon spirit and creating its own cultivation path said the dragon expert this dragon scale was originally a part of it but after so many years it came to possess its own life in order to protect its divinity it produced its own consciousness and began to use the laws of heaven and earth to protect itself it could be said that the current dragon scale was its own independent body 
this matter had slightly exceeded the dragon expert's expectations. Fortunately, it can recognize my fluctuations. It isn't rejecting you or attacking. That is a good phenomenon. Just keep trying. You'll succeed sooner or later. In any case, you have powerful spiritual strength, consoled the dragon expert. However, no matter how powerful Long Chen's spiritual strength was, this process was still painful. This soul-burning pain was not something an ordinary person could endure. However, Long Chen had no other choice but to keep unleashing his spiritual strength. An hour later, a humanoid figure gradually appeared on the dragon scale. That figure was Long Chen. However, this mark was very light. Without paying attention, it wouldn't be noticed. The good thing was that after it appeared, Long Chen finally had a spot to focus his spiritual strength on. It was starting to gather. When Long Chen's spiritual strength was exhausted to the point of only having 10% left, when his concentration was plummeting and his head grew dizzy, there was finally a reaction. Just as he felt incredibly weak, a dragon scale mark appeared in his mind, and, in that instant, he felt spiritually connected to the dragon scale. Success. Long Chen was revitalized. He had almost been unable to endure this. Due to his spiritual strength, being so badly exhausted, his spirit was no longer as powerful. He even felt like he was about to fall. Success. It's too early. First, hide inside the dragon scale and recover, said the dragon expert. After having his spiritual mark on it, it was like a treasure that had acknowledged him as master. He easily passed through its protective light. Heavens! What dense primal chaos Kai! Once he was on the dragon scale, Long Chen cried out excitedly. He had experienced running into primal chaos Kai multiple times. Even in the primal chaos space, the primal chaos Kai was now incredibly dense. Just by extending a hand, he could touch the primal chaos mist. However, here, rather than mist, it was like he was immersed in water. The primal chaos Kai was in liquid form. Standing here, he didn't even need to absorb it. The primal chaos Kai was squeezing into his body. Don't randomly shout. Your time is precious. Hurry and recover your spiritual strength with the primal chaos Kai. Then summon your dragon blood legion to absorb the dragon blood, said the dragon expert. That little fellow with the ghost fox, evil dragon's inheritance, also came here, but he didn't have the ability to approach my dragon scale. That's why he went to absorb the essence blood of that golden dragon. Once he finishes, he'll definitely come here. He can't take my dragon scale, but he might ruin things for you, so hurry up. Long Chen didn't tarry. He summoned his divine ring and sucked in the primal chaos Kai. In less than an instant's sticks worth of time, his almost completely exhausted spiritual strength was fully recovered. It wasn't just recovered to its previous state, but it was now even stronger and purer. Long Chen's divine sense could stretch even further, and he felt closer to heaven and earth. Long Chen then took out a tablet and injected his spiritual strength inside. Countless runes lit up on it. What are you doing? asked the dragon expert. I'm summoning my brothers. Isn't that what you said? Long Chen was dumbfounded. Fool, this tablet will only reach the Dragonblood warriors in Clear Sky City. What about the other Dragonblood warriors? I. Eh? Long Chen was still dumbfounded, but he quickly thought of something. He cried out, Senior, do you have a way to summon them? Of course. All the members of your Dragonblood Legion cultivate the Dragonblood body tempering art. Use the power of the dragon scale to unleash a bloodline summons. As long as the dragon blood warriors are within the three thousand worlds, no matter what corner they are in, they will definitely sense it. I will transmit the summoning mnemonic right now. Memorize it. 
the dragon expert quickly taught Long Chen a set of very strange syllables. Long Chen focused intently on it. After a moment of reflection, all those syllables came out in a roar. A majestic dragon roar then pierced through heaven and earth, and a golden ripple spread in every direction, crossing mountains and charging past rivers. This roar was like a spiritual summon. Formless energy was spreading throughout every corner of the three thousand worlds. It didn't matter if they were at the peak of a mountain or deep underground, or even in seclusion behind powerful formations. All the dragon blood warriors opened their eyes at the same time. They then rose and began flying toward one place. This dragon roar hung in the air for a long time. At this time, Long Chen felt like a dragon god in control of heaven and earth. He even sensed that countless dragon blood warriors had heard his summons and were flying toward him. He felt like he was overlooking this entire world. Long Chen grew emotional and his eyes reddened. His brothers were finally going to reunite with him. He missed them so much. Senior, can I absorb the essence blood now? asked Long Chen. He was itching to start. No, not yet. Why not? You must wait until your dragon blood warriors arrive. Once there are people protecting you, you can start absorbing the dragon blood. After all, the huge disturbance will draw countless experts over. Without others to protect you, you will definitely die, said the dragon expert. How big of a disturbance? asked Long Chen in shock. Let me put it to you this way. Beneath the dragon scale is the primal chaos source. Once you start absorbing the dragon blood, the primal chaos source will erupt. This amount of primal chaos Kai will look like a child's peeing in comparison to that eruption. They are completely incomparable. At that time, all the experts in the three thousand worlds will charge over like madmen. Whether it is the natives or the foreigners, they will come. As for you, you will be in a weak state and unable to retaliate. Without anyone to protect you, you will definitely die, said the dragon expert. Long Chen's heart sank. If that was the case, was he not becoming enemies with the entire world? Thus, just then, two quivering voices rang out. Long Chen saw two muscular men shooting toward him like shooting stars. The earth constantly quivered, as if excited by their arrival. Long Chen was incomparably moved when he saw them. His eyes teared up. These two were Lai Kai and Song Minjuan. Chapter 3871 A shine that illuminates past and present it had been over a year, but Lai Kai and Song Minjuan still looked the same as ever, except for the additional weariness to their faces. Clearly, they had matured a great deal compared to when they were on the martial heaven continent. Both of them had a mortal Kai curling around them, and shocking auras. After they arrived, the earth quivered according to a certain rhythm as if welcoming them. The two of them had grown even stronger. They exuded the air of peak experts. However, these two peak experts couldn't stop themselves from spilling hot tears when they saw Long Chen. Buzz. The two of them had no words. After that, the three of them embraced tightly as if afraid that this was all a dream, as if as soon as they let go, they would wake from this dream. Good brothers, don't cry. We have important matters to deal with. Long Chen wiped away his own tears from the corner of his eyes and patted them on the shoulder. Long Chen was delighted by how powerful they were. It wasn't just their physical bodies that were powerful, but their profound earth energy made them seem linked to the earth, as if they had roots in the earth. That kind of heavy feeling was amazing. However, he had no time to ask them about their current state. He said, I'll give you the dragon blood activation room. Prepare yourselves to receive the baptism of dragon blood. A dragon-shaped rune appeared on each of Long Chen's hands. He then pressed them on their foreheads. Both of their bodies quivered, and this dragon-shaped rune lit up. Following that, the dragon scale lit up, 
and Dragon Kai poured into their bodies. Suddenly, they both coughed up blood. Long Chen jumped in shock. Senior, what's going on? They cannot endure the impact of the true dragon's will. If you forcibly draw my dragon blood into their bodies, even if their bodies don't directly explode, their wills will crumble, turning them into madmen. Thus, activating the true dragon rune is already their limit. You cannot force things. Have them absorb the essence blood of other dragon kings. With the true dragon rune, they will not be rejected by those dragon king corpses. They'll have a much easier time absorbing their blood, said the dragon expert. Long Chen saw Lai Kai and Song Minjuan's pained expressions. However, neither of them made a sound. They clenched their teeth hard. There was no way for them to do this. Originally, Long Chen was hoping for them to absorb at least a trace of this essence blood, but it seemed he had been dreaming. It was impossible. This dragon scale's energy could only be absorbed by him. All he could do was help them receive the true dragon room. Lai Kai, Min Juin, you've been branded with the true dragon room. There are eighteen immemorial dragon kings in the surroundings. Pick one that suits you and absorb its dragon king essence blood to increase the power of your physical body and bloodline power, said Long Chen. Can we really absorb their essence blood? Lai Kai and Song Minjuan had seen two terrifying dragon kings on their way here. Just their auras alone were suffocating. Hence, they didn't quite dare to believe their ears. So, time is pressing. Absorb as much as you can. You'll only have this one chance. Long Chen urged them on. The two of them then nodded and rushed toward one of the immemorial dragon kings. As the dragon expert said, with the true dragon rune, they easily went to the top of the dragon king's head. When they activated the dragon blood body tempering art, blood oozed out of their bodies, but golden blood also flowed into them. Their essence blood was being switched. The two of them were earth element cultivators, and their spirit roots had been changed by an earth element treasure that Long Chen had given them. Luckily, absorbing the true dragon essence blood wouldn't destroy this attribute. On the contrary, earth cultivators were all in possession of the thick power of the earth. That immense power would only be further supported by a stronger physical body. The two of them quickly benefited. With this dragon king essence blood, their bodies were completely transforming. The two of them almost cried out excitedly. Following their boss truly was a blessing. Suddenly, the world quivered an array of light illuminated heaven and earth. It was only once the source of this light got closer that Long Chen could see a glossy bald head reflecting the divine light of heaven and earth. It appeared exceptionally dazzling. Bu Yang, Long Chen, Lai Kai, and Song Minjuan cried out at the same time. This bright head, whose light could stretch through past and present, could only belong to one person. Who else could possibly be so dazzling? Buzz, the first captain of the Dragon Blood Legion, Gu Yang. It was only once he got close that they could see his face through the shine. The current Gu Yang was even more muscular than before. It looked like tiny serpents were wriggling beneath his skin. The power of his physical body was on the verge of exploding, and he gave off immense pressure. First captain of the Dragonblood Legion, Gu Yang, reporting to boss. Gu Yang actually knelt on the ground toward Long Chen. Long Chen immediately lifted him up, his eyes red. What nonsense are you spouting? When did us brothers ever deal with such things? Long Chen patted Gu Yang's shoulder. The resulting sound was like he had struck an iron wall. Gu Yang's physical body was incredibly powerful. He had obviously run into his own fortuitous encounters. All right, now isn't the time to celebrate. Absorb the essence blood of the immemorial dragon kings. After that, come guard me, I also want to absorb some. Long Chen gave Gu Yang the true dragon rune and had him go as well. 
Bu Yang originally had many words to say, but now wasn't the time to talk. He then found a nearby dragon corpse and started absorbing its essence blood. Buzz, buzz. One dragon blood warrior after another came, coming from every direction. When they saw Long Chen, Bu Yang, Lai Kai, and Song Minjuin, they all wept, their voices hoarse. Long Chen had no time to catch up with all of them. He gave each of them the true dragon rune and had them quickly absorb the dragon king essence blood. Some of the dragon blood warriors simply didn't possess enough talent and relied entirely on their toughness to enter the three thousand worlds. Some were not even thinking about leaving this place alive. A few of them couldn't even count as primals. Seeing this, Long Chen was aggrieved and hastily took out heavenly Tao fruits for them. First, they became supremes, and then they absorbed the dragon blood energy. Damn, Long Chen, it seems that my business was small compared to yours. Space quivered, and Mo Nian, Zaya Chen, and Guo Ran also arrived. They were stunned by the dragon scale beneath Long Chen's feet and the surrounding immemorial dragon kings. It's a good thing that you're here. Guard me, I'm going to absorb the dragon blood. Wang Chen was delighted by Mo Nian's arrival. He didn't even wait for a reply. He directly condensed a large batch of true dragon runes and handed them to Mo Nian for him to distribute to the dragon blood warriors, who would arrive later. Long Chen had long since grown impatient. He then sat down on the dragon scale and formed hand seals. The next moment, the golden dragon scale quivered and countless runes lit up on it. Golden liquid flowed into Long Chen. Chapter 3872 So Simple Boom. When this golden liquid entered Long Chen's body, his body shook intensely. Divine light appeared around him. It was like he was plated in gold and powder. After that, the earth split open and endless primal chaos kai erupted. This eruption of primal chaos kai shook the heavens. At this moment, an absolutely enormous dragon mark appeared in the nine heavens. It was millions and millions of miles wide, forming a giant totem illuminating the entire world. It was possible to see it from every corner of the three thousand worlds. Primal chaos source, dragon vein land, when Mo Nian saw that giant dragon totem as well as the terrain of the surroundings, he suddenly realized something. A so-called dragon vein was like a meridian that carried the world's kai flow. It was what oversaw the lifeline of the world. When the earth collapsed and primal chaos kai gushed out, the entire three thousand worlds shook. Dragon might radiated in every direction. A sacred and holy aura then spread throughout the three thousand worlds. Damn, so much primal chaos, Kai. It's even denser than where we went. I have to condense a heavenly Tao crown. Gua Ran cried out excitedly. Gua Ran, don't mess up the proper sequence. Absorb the Dragon King essence blood first before condensing a heavenly Tao crown, shouted Zaya Chen. With that reminder, Guo Ran changed targets, flying toward a golden dragon king. What the fuck? You're all going and I'm stuck here? I have to absorb primal chaos kai too, shouted Mo Nian unhappily. Don't worry, I'll be done soon. Just look after boss, and I'll look after you in a bit. Guo Ran didn't even look back. As time passed, more and more dragon blood warriors arrived. They were all incredibly excited to see Long Chen. However, they had no time to talk. Mold Nian had to keep an eye on the surroundings as he absorbed the primal, Chaos Kai. At the same time, he also had to keep handing out the true dragon runes to the newly arriving dragon blood warriors. As for Long Chen, he was fully in a meditative state. He was wrapped in golden divine radiance and was like a statue. Even his aura was isolated from the outside world. Within the divine radiance, 
Long Chen sensed one drop after another of golden dragon blood entering his body slowly. His almost dry meridians were nourished by this dragon blood and began to grow plump again. Every drop of dragon blood brought with it supreme divine might. With every drop of dragon blood, powerful fluctuations would cause sharp pain throughout his body. Even cracks started to appear on his meridians. Long Chen blessed his fortune that the dragon expert had tirelessly arranged things for him to strengthen his meridians. Otherwise, a single drop of this blood would have caused his old meridians to crumble. There would be no way to absorb it. Right now, although there was a stinging pain in his meridians, it was still within his tolerance. As one drop after another entered his body, his meridians transformed. They became golden and incomparably tough. What power! Long Chen sensed every drop strengthening him. It was like a single drop contained the power of a volcano. Just this is powerful. We've just started. You will soon understand what the strongest bloodline of the nine heavens and ten lands is, said the dragon expert disdainfully. That disdain contained immense pride. Senior, can we go faster? I am afraid of others coming, said Long Chen. He knew that everything was under the control of the dragon expert, but at this rate, many enemies might arrive soon. The disturbance here was truly enormous. All the experts of the three thousand worlds were probably rushing over with all their power right now. He needed to go faster. It is impossible. My essence blood contains a supreme will and power. That is the result of tens of thousands of years of my cultivation, the result of experiencing countless tribulations and dangers. Although there's no problem for you in terms of the will, in terms of your physical body, you are still human. You are a far cry from my dragon race. In the end, you've only lived a few years. As for myself, I had tens of thousands of years to accumulate the experiences that produced this scale. Any faster and your meridians will still shatter. Other than that, any faster and the dragon blood will not properly permeate through every inch of your body. Then there will be imperfections. If that happens, you will not be able to use my bloodline power and will be unable to unleash my innate divine abilities. With my bloodline, you must reach my requirements. Otherwise, if you were beaten by others, I would lose face. That is unacceptable, said the dragon expert. Long Chen's heart shook. This dragon expert's essence blood was even stronger than he had imagined. His meridians were already so tough but there would still be a danger of them exploding if the rate of this absorption was increased. Just how powerful was the dragon race? Boom! Suddenly, a figure flew off of the head of a dragon. Surging blood Kai power came out of him in waves, causing huge ripples in space. Ah! This person was Ran. He laughed arrogantly. I, Ran, have finally condensed a heavenly Tao crown. I will sweep through the world unrivaled. Golden scales covered Gua Ran's body like golden battle armor, and they had countless dragon marks flowing within them. It looked like there was a dragon moving within his scales. Most shocking of all, there was a halo of light behind Gua Ran's head. It was like a crown, making him appear holy and sacred, an existence that couldn't be blasphemed. What the fuck? It was that simple. Mo Nyan looked at Gua Ran in disbelief. Wasn't it said that condensing a heavenly Tao crown required ten to fifteen days at least? It had only just been a few hours. How did Gua Ran do this? What Mo Nyan didn't know was that Gua Ran's talent was incredibly lacking. Everything he had right now was essentially thanks to Long Chen's efforts building him up. The so called Tao of the heavens were fair. If something had a drawback, it also had an advantage. Yuo Ran was so incredibly weak that even the heavens felt pity for him. Amongst all the life forms in the three thousand worlds, the weakest existence in this realm was Yuo Ran. Thus, in order to make it up to him, 
the heavens lowered the difficulty of all advancements for heavenly geniuses with greater talent condensing a heavenly dow crown was much more difficult this was the fairness of the heavenly dows mo nyan didn't know about these profundities seeing gua ran condense a golden dragon battle armor and a heavenly dow crown in just a few hours he was completely dumbfounded leave this place to me you can go absorb the primal chaos pie gua ran patted his chest confidently he then took the remaining true dragon runes from mo nyan's hands mo nyan didn't argue the primal chaos kai here was incredibly dense and it was the optimal time to condense a heavenly dow crown he couldn't miss it after that he flew into the sky and his manifestation burst into existence the giant palace rumbled as he absorbed this primal chaos kai mo nyan had just settled into this cultivation state when life forms of other races appeared clearly they had been drawn over by the disturbance long chen amongst these life forms one of them spotted long chen on the scale and immediately erupted with killing intent without a second word he charged at long chen chapter three thousand eight hundred seventy three guo ran b s wang tianiao this person was the violet thunderclap empire's number one expert wang tianiao furthermore there were thousands of the violet thunderclap empire's heavenly geniuses around him during his heavenly tribulation lei linger had taken his priceless treasure the wild blade that was the divine weapon that wang tebe had used to sweep through the world and wang tianiao viewed it as important as his life for it to have been taken by lei linger he was driven practically insane after the tribulation he went into seclusion to recover and somehow found a treasure land to absorb primal chaos kai there he solidified his realm and also prepared to condense a heavenly dow crown only by condensing it could he unleash the full potential of his innate thunder force once his preparations to condense a heavenly dow crown were complete he planned to start looking for long chen to take back his wild blade the wild blade was a peerless divine weapon the national treasure of the violet thunderclap empire thus its importance could not be overstated and it could not be allowed to fall into other people's hands he then gathered the violet thunderclap empire's experts and drove away all the other life forms in a treasure land they dominated that place but after spending a few days absorbing the resources there they were disturbed by the dragon mark phenomenon as a result they abandoned their treasure land and came here although long chen was covered in golden divine radiance and looked like a statue wang tanya would recognize him no matter what even if long chen turned into dust wang tanya would recognize him die wang tanya furiously attacked without hesitation his lightning spear pierced toward long chen he could tell that long chen was in a special state as long chen couldn't fight back this was the optimal time to kill him Boop. however halfway there a figure suddenly appeared before him blocking his way with a single punch golden light erupted and his lightning spear was shattered terrifying kai waves surged blasting wang tianiao back having been consumed by his fury he actually hadn't noticed guo ran behind long chen guo ran was standing in the air still in his punching posture with his body covered in golden scales at this moment a dragon cry seemed to still hang in the air like a roar that came from the distant past the divine light made guo ran appear exceptionally majestic right now endless power surged within guo ran's body it was like the tide of the great sea possessing unimaginable strength the current guo ran was incredibly excited in his entire life he had never felt such terrifying power he almost couldn't believe that this immense power was his the power of the dragon blood circulated within him and his supreme bones runes also flowed around his arm with the dragon blood's support 
all the runes of the supreme bone were fully activated even without his battle armor he was capable of drawing out the full power of his supreme bone most terrifying of all with his dragon blood his supreme bones runes became exceptionally active they were nourished by the dragon blood seemingly undergoing a metamorphosis just like guo ran who are you demanded wing taniao long chen's subordinate general of the dragon blood legion guo ran announced guo ran what dragon blood legion what general that's all dog shit you can die first wang tanio roared furiously after learning that guo ran was long chen's subordinate he no longer had any misgivings a giant sea of lightning then appeared behind him he had summoned his manifestation who do you think you are to dare say such big words Pam. Grandpa Guo will teach you how to behave, sneered Guo Ran. He was filled with power and didn't fear anyone. In front of Wing Tanyao's challenge, Guo Ran directly charged over. His golden battle sabers rumbled as the power of his dragon blood erupted. Split the heavens won. When Guo Ran unleashed Split the Heavens, divine light lit up behind his head, illuminating heaven and earth. At that moment, Guo Ran seemed to become a god in control of this world, in control of all laws of heaven and earth. When he unleashed this saber attack, countless currents of invisible energy poured into his sabers, and their power grew explosively. This phenomenon even shocked Guo Ran. Heavenly Dao crown? Impossible. Wang Tianyao's expression completely changed when he saw the light behind Guo Ran's head. How could someone have condensed a heavenly Tao crown so quickly? Heavenly lightning divine shield! Wang Tianyo hurriedly slammed his hands together. His manifestation actually surged in front of him, and the giant sea of lightning instantly condensed into a three-meter shield. The lightning shield rumbled. It was incredibly solid and emitted a terrifying divine pressure, as well as the aura of heavenly punishment. His thunder force also came from heavenly tribulation, so it was filled with the destructive power of tribulation lightning. Boom! When Guo Ran's saber fell, Wang Tanyao's solid shield crumbled instantly in front of everyone's shocked gazes. Guo Ran's saber attack continued, aiming for his neck. However, Wang Tanyao hurriedly twisted his body, causing the saber to slightly miss. After that, his protective lightning armor shattered, and a giant cut was left in his chest. It was so deep that others could see bone. Wang Tanya fled, but Guo Ran simply stood there foolishly instead of chasing. He himself was stunned by his terrifying power. So a heavenly Tao crown actually has such a terrifying power. Once I attack, the heavenly Tao's resonate and assist me. It increases my attack power by multiple times. Yuo Ran stared at his saber as if he was in a dream. The moment he attacked, it felt like an invisible hand of the world also held his saber, multiplying its power. Primals, Supremes, those are all dogs compared to Grandpa Yuo. I am the true chosen of the heavens. I'm your daddy, ha ha ha. Yuo Ran raised his head and laughed as if he had gone insane. This one attack taught him what it meant to be close to the heavenly Daos. Previously, he had thought that it meant to borrow the power of the heavenly Daos, using a very humble attitude of asking for aid. Moreover, the power that could be borrowed was limited. However, now it was different. The moment he attacked, the heavens didn't need him to ask and he didn't need to borrow anything. The heavens directly gave him power without asking. Bastard, so what? Even if you have condensed a heavenly Tao crown, I can still kill you. Wing Tanyo roared, and his manifestation once more appeared. This time, a heavenly tower was present in his manifestation. At the same time, an identical tower appeared in his hand. Once this tower appeared, Waves of lightning scoured heaven and earth. 
an enormous space tens of thousands of miles wide became filled with endless lightning as if heavenly tribulation had descended t c h who are you trying to scare come today i'll make you beg for mercy Yuoran's confidence was already inflated even in front of this unknown tower he wasn't the slightest bit afraid young master there are immemorial dragon corpses nearby that no one has occupied yet but people are coming quickly if we still don't make a move at this moment one of the experts of the violet thunderclap empire shouted they had noticed the other dragon corpses just as wang tianya was about to unleash the power of his tower he heard this person's shout and hesitated he clenched his teeth brat i'll let you live a few more days in the end he chose to first occupy one of the dragon corpses every dragon corpse was equivalent to a primal chaos source it was where the primal chaos kai was gushing out the most what he needed most right now was primal chaos kai it was his ultimate goal in coming here he could also tell that since guo ran had condensed a heavenly dao crown although he was confident that he could still beat guo ran it would not be a matter of one of two moves as he didn't have that much time to waste he chose to give up i'll gutless you're quite good at acting tough said guo ran disdainfully however he didn't chase after him he had to guard long chen and mon nian so he didn't dare to go too far suddenly space shook and guo ran jumped in shock he then roared furiously and directly slashed his saber in long chen's direction however he was still slightly too slow a dagger flickered with cold light stabbing toward long chen on the dragon scale chapter three thousand eight hundred seventy four jai wooming retreats this person appeared bizarrely without any warning considering that yuo ran had his heavenly dao crown on he had a high level of control over the surrounding space but even then he hadn't noticed him jai wooming when yuo ran saw the attacker clearly he was enraged it was the blood kill hall's number one heavenly genius jai wooming jai wooming's dagger stabbed straight toward long chen and guo ran had no time to stop him however just as jai wooming was a few feet away from long chen golden light shot out of long chen the dragon scale beneath him quivered jai wooming then grunted as he was blasted back by formless divine might ah uh -huh. you want to sneak attack my boss keep dreaming seeing that long chen was safe and sound yuo ran laughed jai wooming was unable to harm long chen so yuo ran directly attacked him jai wooming was shocked looking at the dragon scale beneath long chen he sensed a terrifying pressure from it Boom. the next moment yuo ran's saber fell and jai wooming received it with his dagger with an explosive sound the space behind jai wooming collapsed but his actual body didn't shake in the slightest. He transmitted the power of Guo Ran's attack into the space behind him. Guo Ran was astonished. In just a short time after their last encounter, Jai Wuming's control over spatial energy had grown to the point of him being able to control it at will. He was capable of controlling it easily without showing any openings. As a result, Guo Ran's attack was unable to injure him suddenly guo ran's heart shuddered an intense sensation of danger swelled within him at this moment jai wooming's dagger had somehow appeared next to his throat it was so fast that guo ran didn't have time to react sparks flew and the dagger cut across his armor emitting a scratching sound that made guo ran wince painfully the moment he had sensed danger he summoned his battle armor thus there was now a large cut in his devil dragon battle armor fortunately in his dragon blood battle armor state the scales on his neck had managed to stop the dagger but that chilling dagger still gave him goosebumps your reaction speed isn't bad but it's still useless killing you is as easy as turning a hand 
Jai Wuming was slightly surprised that he hadn't cut off Yuo Ran's head in one attack, but his tone quickly became one of disdain. Bullshit! Yuo Ran shouted angrily and attacked. Seeing him attacking, Jai Wuming snorted. His dagger then swept through the air until he was holding it behind him. At the same time, a strange mark appeared on his left hand, and he slammed it at Yuo Ran. However, just then, Jai Wuming's expression completely changed. The rune in his left hand instantly changed to a different rune. Countless pinholes suddenly appeared on Yuo Ran's chestplate. After that, golden needles shot out, instantly piercing through Jai Wuming's body. At this distance, he had no chance to dodge. Ah ha you thought that you could Yuo Ran laughed. His saber attack was nothing more than a distraction to draw Jai Wuming's attention, and his true killing blow was the mechanism on his chest. This move was very sinister. He gave Jai Wuming no chance to react. Seeing those needles piercing his opponent's body, Guo Ran was excited, but that smile quickly stiffened. The needles actually passed straight through Jai Wuming's body. There was no blood. At the same time, an intense sensation of crisis instantly struck Guo Ran. Without hesitation, Guo Ran's wings folded around him, forming a powerful protective barrier. The next moment, a dagger stabbed into his back. It directly struck his wings, and the immense power actually dented them. Guo Ran tumbled into the distance. Guo Ran was shocked. His wings had multiple states to which he could switch between. When his wings folded like an armored beetle, that was their strongest defensive state. However, even in this state, a dent was left in his wings and multiple of their runes were destroyed. Jai Wu Ming's attack was simply terrifying. Yuo Ran was instantly covered in a cold sweat. Fortunately, he had condensed a heavenly Dao crown and had even sharper senses than before. Otherwise, he would probably have died. Fuck, I refuse to believe that I can't beat you. Yuo Ran's battle intent was stimulated. He had just made his breakthrough, and someone was already trying to deal a blow to his new confidence. That was unacceptable. At this moment, his battle armor lit up and golden light flowed on top of his dual sabers. He directly attacked. Seeing this, Jai Wuming was finally a bit afraid. Having both of his attacks blocked startled him. Previously, he didn't view Guo Ran as any threat. It was because he knew Guo Ran's abilities, and so he didn't place Guo Ran in his eyes. However, he could no longer view Guo Ran so lightly. Not only was his reaction speed astonishing, but the golden needles that had shot out of his chest just now truly made Jai Wuming jump in shock. If he hadn't absorbed some primal chaos Kai recently, which caused his control over space and time to rise, he wouldn't have been able to dodge this sinister move. Yuo Ran's needles were all backed by runes and would explode on contact with blood. So, even someone as powerful as Jai Wuming would have a miserable death if he was struck. As a result, he had a headache when it came to Yuo Ran, whose battle armor equipped him to the teeth. As Jai Wuming couldn't fully penetrate his defenses, it was hard to cause any substantial wounds to Guo Ran. On the other hand, Guo Ran had countless sinister moves up his sleeve. If Jai Wuming fell for a single one, he would not be able to survive. Seeing more and more experts coming here and fighting for the dragon corpses, he snorted. I'll take your life later. His figure swayed, and he instantly melded into nothingness. He merged into the void like water, vanishing without a trace. As a result, Buo Ran's attack missed. Having completely lost track of Jai Wuming, he also snorted. Shameless things, all you know how to do is hide. If you have guts, come fight Grandpa Buo. Let's exchange 30,000 blows. Buo Ran was a bit unhappy with this fight. He had just condensed a heavenly Dao crown and the golden dragon battle armor, 
so he still wasn't fully accustomed to his current power. Most importantly, his Devil Dragon battle armor was built for his previous power level. Now that his power had suddenly soared by dozens of times, it was no longer a perfect match for him. Yuo Ran was not used to this. Despite all his terrifying power, he was unable to fully draw out his potential. He cursed furiously, but Jai Wuming ignored him. He left just like that to absorb Primal Chaos Kai from another dragon corpse, and Yuo Ran didn't dare to chase him. After all, he had to look after everyone and didn't dare to be careless. Although Long Chen was protected by the dragon scale, making it difficult for others to harm him, there were also Mo Nian, Xia Chen, Go Yang, and the other members of the Dragon Blood Legion. If someone sneak attacked them, that would be troublesome. He had to guard them. After a while, rumbling rang out and Black Kai surged over the horizon. Within this Black Kai was a terrifying life form. When this life form appeared, every expert present without exception felt an icy chill. They stared in horror at that life form within the Black Kai. Chapter 3875 Shi Yang appears. This gushing Black Kai made it seem like the gates of hell had been opened. At this moment, endless Death Kai unfurled. Within this Black Kai was a life form possessing an ancient aura. It was a horned life form with two wings and sharp claws, and its aura caused the laws of the world to shake. Ji Yang. Huo Ran's heart pounded hard when he saw this life form. This was precisely the life form that Shi Yang had possessed in the heavenly tomb. It was the corpse of an immemorial winged devil expert. Back when Shi Yang had first taken control of this corpse, he had wanted to launch a sneak attack to kill them. However, he was unable to fully control this powerful corpse well and was almost captured. After that, he had to flee in a panic. However, now his footsteps were steady and natural, no longer tottering like he was drunk. Most terrifying of all, the devil Kai around him fluctuated with every breath. It was as if the heavenly Daos were thrumming to his rhythm. Long Chen. Shi Yang instantly spotted Long Chen and exploded in rage. He wanted to charge right over, but then he saw Jai Wuming occupying a dragon corpse all on his own. After that, he suddenly calmed down. Shi Yang only looked at Long Chen, Mo Nian, and the others. With a cold snort, he didn't attack. Instead, he went toward one of the immemorial dragon corpses. If you don't want to die, then scram. Shi Yang shouted thunderously, and while Death Kai erupted, there were originally quite a few experts on this dragon corpse, but they all fled in terror. Although the immemorial dragon corpses were all primal chaos sources with the greatest and purest primal chaos Kai, if one didn't have the necessary level of power, occupying them would be courting death. Everyone could see how terrifying Shi Yang was, so they didn't dare to compete with him, fleeing. As a result, Shi Yang easily occupied one of the dragon corpses just like that. Curious. Why didn't he attack? Yuo Ran was prepared to fight, but Shi Yang actually chose not to, not even launching a probing blow. Yuo Ran couldn't help finding it curious. However, after thinking about it, he realized that the dragon scale Long Chen was on was emitting a sacred aura which must be restraining Shi Yang's evil corpse Kai. Thinking that he wouldn't gain any advantage if he attacked, Shi Yang put that idea aside for now. After looking at Jai Wuming in the distance, absorbing the primal chaos Kai, he came to the conclusion that Jai Wuming had also been powerless to do anything to Long Chen. Thus, he also chose not to waste the effort. He could always absorb the primal chaos Kai first before anything else. Shi Yang spread his wings and crazily devoured the energy of heaven and earth. Space was constantly collapsing around him as he absorbed the primal chaos Kai. After a while, the black runes on his body gradually grew brighter. It was just like a devil king was slowly awaking. Time passed bit by bit, 
and more and more experts arrived. Some of them directly attacked Long Chen when they saw him. A newborn calf wasn't afraid of a tiger. Not all experts were so experienced. Some were simply arrogant existences who liked to look down on others, but they didn't actually have much power. Due to thinking that they were unrivaled, they often did brainless things. As a result, those experts were quickly put in their place by Guo Ran. The current Guo Ran didn't even need to summon his armor unless it was against the likes of Jai Wuming or Xi Yang. He simply blasted them apart with a single punch. However, Guo Ran also did encounter a few tough fellows. But once he brought out his heavenly Dao crown, he still crushed them. He could fight these experts all alone, and even if they joined forces, it wouldn't be hard on him to stop them. Yuo Ran also became smart, and he wasn't just thinking about showing off. He used these new experts to temper himself, gradually growing accustomed to his power. As a result, his usage of dragon blood power and heavenly Dao crown grew increasingly skilled. Three days passed. After three days, Guo Ren's saber was fully stained with blood, and there was an unknown number of corpses on the ground beneath him. After all, Long Chen's position was too conspicuous. All people wanted to tear him off of it, so Guo Ren had no choice but to start being vicious to stare off any competitors. The fortunate thing for Guo Ren was that amongst the true peak experts, only Shi Yang, Wang Tianyao, and Jai Wuming came. As for Yin Changsheng, the Nine Underworld Yuacha, and the others, they actually didn't come. Despite that, there were countless terrifying new faces. Some of them didn't have auras that were much weaker than Yin Changsheng and the others. However, those experts were all smart. Seeing the current situation, they didn't directly attack Long Chen nor did they compete for the immemorial dragon that the Dragonblood Legion occupied. Instead, they chose to fight over other dragon corpses. They were all true experts and instantly saw that Long Chen, Mo Nian, and the others weren't existences that could be easily provoked. Hence, they chose not to take the risk. Despite that, there were still many distasteful fellows staring at Long Chen, they could see how terrifying this golden dragon scale was, so they were like a group of mosquitoes. Even if they couldn't eat this dragon scale, they would at least get their bit of blood. Some people had actually managed to charge to the dragon scale. Using secret arts and treasures, they managed to absorb the slightest trace of dragon blood energy. However, it wasn't because they were so powerful. It was more like the process of Long Chen absorbing the dragon blood energy did cause some slight dregs to ooze out. In truth, the dragon blood that they absorbed was the essence blood that escaped out of Long Chen. But even the slightest trace was enough to drive countless people crazy. One of the people to succeed in absorbing a trace of this dragon blood was from a mixed blood dragon race, and after devouring that slightest trace of essence blood, his aura instantly erupted by dozens of times, shocking everyone. Although this person was still slain by Guo Ran in the end, his death didn't extinguish the flames of greed that he ignited. In fact, they only grew even crazier because after he died, his body still retained the slightest bit of the true dragon essence blood. After that, someone else obtained and absorbed it, causing his aura to also grow by several times. The increase in their blood kai was enough to drive them crazy, but the truly crazy thing was the sacred aura contained within that blood. That slight sacred aura was enough to change their lives and even the fate of their entire race. With that sacred aura in their bodies, they would be able to transmit it to future generations. That would be greatly beneficial to their race. The sacred dragon race's essence blood was an unmatched treasure to any beast life form. Although Guo Ran was slaughtering these newcomers, he wasn't able to stop them all. After three days of fighting, Guo Ran was tired. He had been facing a group of madmen that came in droves, 
and he couldn't kill them all. He only gained more and more enemies. Most hateful of all, so many people were charging toward the dragon scale just to get a taste of that essence blood oozing out of Long Chen. After a taste, they became even crazier. Guo Ran roared furiously as he slaughtered those oncomers. However, they had figured out Guo Ran's weakness. That weakness was that he was all alone. The dragon scale was more than 10,000 miles wide, so how could he possibly cover all that area by himself? As soon as he showed any openings, they would snatch some essence blood, infuriating Guo Ran. Suicidal idiots! Do you think you can touch my boss's plans? Even as Guo Ran hunted them down, there was nothing else he could do. Although he knew that this little bit of essence blood oozing out of Long Chen counted for nothing, it still enraged him. Worst of all, after seeing others succeed, more people were joining in. His greatest worry was that Shi Yang, Jai Wu Ming, and the others would also come. Heavenly Lightning Curse! Just as Guo Ran was infuriated to the point of almost coughing up blood, a shout rang out. Thirty-six talismans then appeared around the borders of the dragon scale. Before those lifeforms even understood what was going on, those talismans detonated. Chapter 3876 Unrivaled Zaya Chen Thirty-six talismans detonated at once, summoning lightning runes that instantly blasted apart any nearby experts before they could even react. If Long Chen saw this scene, he would definitely be shocked. These lightning talismans actually contained the terrifying might of heavenly punishment. Furthermore, it was the power of heavenly punishment compressed to the pinnacle and then detonated. That destructive power was shocking. The only one he knew capable of such a thing was Lei Linger. Xia Chen. Yuo Ran was delighted to see Xia Chen appear. At this moment, Xia Chen also had divine radiance behind his head a heavenly Tao crown. He had also succeeded in condensing one. After condensing a heavenly Tao crown, Xia Chen seemed to have merged with heaven and earth. His aura had completely changed, and he seemed to be the one in control of all laws. One wave of his hand could destroy heaven and earth. Suddenly, the space behind Xia Chen quivered and an assassin appeared. This person was from the Bloodfill Hall and he had slipped past just like Jai Wuming without alerting any of them. This person's position in the Bloodkill Hall was definitely not low. Just as Guo Ran was about to shout a warning, Xia Chen simply swung his hand back without even looking. There was a web-like design on his palm. When that design lit up, a giant net hundreds of meters wide appeared, hanging in the air. Seeing this scene, that assassin instantly had a bad feeling. He stamped on the air and shot back. His switch of direction was quick as lightning. To be able to come to a sudden stop like that showed that he was an expert. The only one capable of such a thing was an expert amongst experts. Regretfully, even that was useless. The net already stuck to him, and he was like a fly caught in a spider's web. Split. The design on Zaya Chen's palm suddenly separated along with the net in the air. However, it brought away that person's limbs and head as well. That expert assassin was torn to pieces. After his corpse was pulled apart, the pieces exploded, transforming into blood mist. He was killed in body and spirit. What the? Guo Ran was dumbfounded. He knew Xia Chen the best and was familiar with his techniques. Xia Chen was now capable of condensing talismans barehanded. Having escaped the bindings of paper and writing, Xia Chen had condensed this talisman using only his essence, Kai, and spirit. This was the dream of any talisman master. Unexpectedly, Xia Chen had reached this level today with his bare hands. He could control the power of heaven and earth, merge with heaven and earth, condense talismans empty-handed. I've actually reached this realm. No wonder it is said that only after condensing a heavenly Tao crown are you truly a king amongst immortals. 
Zaya Chen looked at his own hand excitedly. Zaya Chen's arrival scared off the people who were throwing themselves at the dragon scale. This was their first time seeing such a terrifying talisman master. Zaya Chen had destroyed heaven and earth with a wave of his hand, killing people without even touching them. With just two moves, he scared them off. Ahaha, ha, ha, congratulations, Zaya Chen! I was the first in the Dragon Blood Legion, but you were second, laughed Guo Ran. Although Guo Ran was saying congratulations, he was also bragging. He was the first one in the Dragon Blood Legion to condense a heavenly Tao crown, and the next fastest took three more days. He would be able to brag about that for a lifetime. Zaya Chen naturally knew that Guo Ran was showing off and simply smiled. Right now, he was fully immersed in the laws of heaven and earth, getting control over this marvelous feeling. Just then, countless experts shot toward the dragon scale once more. Although Zaya Chen's arrival had scared them, some of them had already had a taste and were willing to give it another try. Previously, they had taken turns to distract Guo Ran, and now tens of thousands of experts charged at once, wanting to use their collective force to crush the two of them. They knew that they had to join forces in order to get the benefits. HMPH trying to use numbers against a talisman master. Truly foolish. Let me see how many of you can survive. Zaya Chen sneered and formed hand seals. This time, forty-eight talismans flew out. When those talismans appeared, heaven and earth rumbled explosively. It was like forty-eight claps of thunder, so loud that people's ears bled. Then, Guo Ran jumped in shock. He recognized those talismans to be Zaya Chen's most precious heaven-shaking talismans. Hold some back. Don't. Boom. The forty. Eight talismans caused explosive sounds in the world just by flying. The moment they arrived around the dragon scale, Zaya Chen detonated them. As a result, forty-eight heaven-shaking talismans exploded at the same time. That sound shook the entire three thousand worlds. Forty-eight ripples also appear, devouring the surrounding space. Chaotic spatial currents then blew apart those experts, and even the dragon scale was swallowed by the spatial current. Originally, Guo Ran was shouting for him to hold back and not end up affecting Long Chen. But Guo Ran's words stopped in his throat midway. He couldn't hear anything. Seeing Long Chen and the dragon scale vanish within that chaotic space, his soul almost fled in terror. He actually thought that Zaya Chen had just killed Long Chen. However, when space settled, the dragon scale was still standing as solidly as a boulder. It wasn't at all affected by the heaven-shaking talismans. Only then did Guo Ran sigh with relief, but he was already covered in a cold sweat. Who else wants to die? Just come. Zaya Chen clasped his hands behind him. His heavenly Tao crown shone as he looked at those distant life forms, his voice backed with a murderous aura that made their hearts shake. That attack terrified even Guo Ran, let alone these other experts. All the others who were thinking about touching the golden dragon scale instantly left, preparing to go somewhere else. Brother, that attack of yours almost made me piss myself, praised Guo Ran. I benefited from boss. My spirit was strong enough before, but my essence and Kai weren't. As a result, I was unable to resist the backlash of the heavenly downs. I could only scatter my power in my talismans and avoided drawing in the power of heaven and earth, so I was injured by the backlash. Now my essence, Kai, and spirit are finally in equilibrium. I also have the heavenly Dell crown. Because of it, my talismans are now supported by ten times the heavenly Dao energy. Furthermore, the backlash is easily endurable. He he, I finally vented a bit. Zaya Chen laughed delightedly. The current Zaya Chen seemed to have completely transformed. He was a different person compared to before. He had finally stepped into the realm that he had longed to reach. 
Saya Chen, do you feel like something is off? Suddenly, Gua Ran's expression became a bit grave. He looked into the distance vigilantly. Chapter 3877 All Out Assault, What's Wrong? asked Saya Chen. Don't you feel like there are fewer people than expected? responded Gua Ran. Just as Gua Ran said, three days had passed, and this disturbance had definitely shaken the vast three thousand worlds. With their great talents, the peak experts possess the ability to traverse the majority of the three thousand worlds to come here. However, Yin Changsheng, the nine underworld Yuacha, and experts of their caliber were conspicuously absent. What piqued Guo Ran's curiosity the most was that even Long Aoshin hadn't come. Given the magnitude of this disturbance, it should have reverberated far and wide, reaching the corners of the three thousand worlds, drawing countless experts over. It's not surprising. There are many treasure lands with special inheritances in the three thousand worlds. Perhaps the other experts have found great places, so they are ignoring the disturbance here. I guess those who came here either had no special inheritances to obtain or had simply abandoned their original treasure lands due to the huge disturbance here. But now that they've left, they probably won't be able to get anything if they go back to those places. Anyway, spending all their time running around will only cause them to miss out on the surging primal chaos Kai. Then they'll have wasted this golden opportunity. Xia Chen eyed the many experts around. They were glaring at Xia Chen and the others, wanting to come over yet not daring to. There were also some who knew how to judge the situation and began to go for the other dragon corpses. Although the ones at the core had been occupied, there were still other corpses in the outer regions. Although the primal chaos Kai in that area wasn't even a tenth of the core, they had no other choice. If they were to return to where they were from originally, they probably wouldn't have a spot either. So that's the case. After hearing this, Nguo Ren nodded. He felt that Xia Chen's theory was reasonable. After all, the three thousand worlds had more than one treasure land. They had just come from such a place with Mo Nian. In a tomb, they had obtained plenty of treasures, and the primal chaos Kai there had also been abundant. Thus, they had been planning on just staying there to absorb that primal chaos Kai. However, after sensing Long Chen's summons, Xia Chen and Guo Ran knew that they had to leave. Thus, they abandoned their treasure land and came here. Perhaps others had simply decided not to abandon the places that they found. After all, who knew what the situation was like in other places? Furthermore, in most cases, it was better to find things that suited you. Some treasure lands contained different kinds of energy. Because of that, many experts would sense the specific energies that suited them and make those treasure lands their targets. No, that's bad too. Guo Ran's expression suddenly changed. If that's the case... What if they condense heavenly Dao crowns and then rush over here? Xia Chen said, you're right. That's why we have to prepare in advance. Guard this place. I'll set up formations to protect boss. Xia Chen then took out formation disks and embedded them in space. There were a total of 108 formation disks, like stars floating around the dragon scale. Every formation disc also had 108 talismans inside of them. In total, they formed a giant grand formation protecting Long Chen. As for Long Chen, his condition had changed. Now, the divine light around him was denser, and the golden light was like silk threads wrapping him. He was soon completely covered. Every strand of that silk possessed boundless power and emitted a sacred aura. It was like a single strand of it could sever heaven and earth. Xia Chen and Guo Ran didn't know what Long Chen was experiencing, but they knew that he could not be disturbed. One day, two days, three days. Ten days passed. More and more golden silk appeared around Long Chen. 
He was now fully wrapped in a golden cocoon. The golden dragon scales aura finally began to fade, its energy pouring into this cocoon. Clearly, Long Chen had entered a critical state. Not that far from Long Chen was an ancient, majestic palace. It seemed to exist beyond the cosmos, standing above the ten thousand Daos. However, this was not a true palace, but Mon Nian's manifestation. He hadn't occupied a dragon corpse. Instead, he was absorbing the terrifying primal chaos Kai beside Long Chen. After all, the dragon scale was the primal chaos source of the three thousand worlds, a place where the primal chaos Kai was gushing out of the most. Long Chen couldn't even absorb it all himself, which was why Mo Nian benefited from him, taking in the energy that Long Chen couldn't absorb. Also, Mo Nian didn't stand on courtesy. He made sure to suck in every drop of primal chaos Kai that Long Chen couldn't absorb. It was all absorbed into the palace. His manifestation was originally very indistinct, but as he absorbed all this primal chaos Kai, it grew clearer. The roof, the doorposts, the marks on the brick walls, they all gradually became clear. As the palace grew clearer, the signboard on the gate was particularly conspicuous. There, written in gilt, was the name Limitless Palace. Just that writing alone seemed to contain endless profundities, as if the energy inside of it was manifesting some great secret. Mo Nain was seated before the gate, where a pine tree stood tall. Most palaces seldom had trees adorning their gateways. Instead, they were often adorned with majestic divine beast statues, standing guard with an imposing presence. Even if they did plant a tree, there should be one on each side. But the limitless palace only had a single tree planted right in front of the gate, blocking the entrance. That was very much against normal aesthetics and feng shui. This peculiar arrangement piqued the curiosity of onlookers, leaving them unable to resist questioning its significance. It was an enormous pine tree thousands of miles tall, but other than being large, it appeared really ordinary. At this moment, drops of strange light fell from it, enveloping Mo Nian. Those drops of light were extremely bizarre, almost demonic, so when they fell on him, his slightly wretched face became even more wretched. Even the Limitless Palace's sacred light could not conceal his wretchedness. This was something that people found very strange. As the image of Limitless Palace grew more and more solid, the space on its edges began to collapse. It was as if the palace was being brought into reality, shattering the ten thousand Daos within its domain. Other than Mo Nian, there were also Gu Yang, Lai Kai, and Song Minjuan. All their blood kiss were soaring. Also, their bodies were swollen with power as if they might explode. Countless cracks appeared on their skin, and light red blood slowly oozed out. Beneath those cracks, people could see golden blood flowing. That was the true dragon essence blood expelling their original essence blood, a complete blood exchange. They had also reached a critical juncture and were on the verge of switching out their blood. Once their blood was switched out, they could start condensing heavenly Tao crowns. However, they took far more time than Kyuo Ran and Xia Chen. That proved that the potential of their physical bodies was far greater than theirs. Suddenly, a group of life forms appeared in the distance. The world rumbled as they tore through the void. When Xia Chen and Gua Ran saw this group, they instantly tensed up and prepared to fight. This time, it'll probably be an all out assault. Chapter 3878 The Transformed Xia Chen These newcomers all had a divine radiance shining behind their heads. At this moment, the might of the heavenly Daos crashed down. They were all experts who had condensed a heavenly Dao crown. Clearly, these experts had been in other treasure lands. After condensing heavenly Dao crowns and gathering all the treasures there, they rushed over to this place to fight for more primal chaos Kai. When they saw the endless primal chaos Kai gushing out of this place, their eyes reddened. 
In particular, the sight of the golden dragon scale encircled by the big 18 immemorial dragon kings evoked a profound emotion within them. Greed glimmered in their eyes, igniting the insatiable hunger for boundless power. Kill! Hundreds of them were from different races. But without hesitation, they charged at the golden dragon scale together. These people were originally already powerful, and now that they had condensed heavenly Tao crowns, their confidence naturally inflated. That golden dragon scale made them directly ignore the eighteen dragon king corpses and rush straight at Long Chen. If they were going to fight over something, they would fight over the best. This is the most critical juncture. The first batch of experts that have condensed heavenly Tao crowns has shown up, and more and more of them will be appearing. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like Boss will be coming out of seclusion any time soon, so we have to prepare for a long-term fight. Remember, every bit of our power counts. Don't waste your energy, reminded Xia Chen. Don't worry, I won't waste energy just to show off. Yua Ran laughed valiantly while feeling slightly guilty inside. If it weren't for Xia Chen's reminder, he would have immediately charged out for a glorious display. I'm going. Xia Chen had runes flow around his hands. The next moment, his figure swayed and he vanished. When he reappeared, he was in front of a large life form, and he sent a single palm at it. Those who block me will die, shouted it. Confronted by a feeble scholar from the human race, the large life form unleashed a seemingly simple punch, yet it radiated an awe inspiring brilliance of golden light. Unexpectedly, this life form was a metal energy cultivator. Who? Xia Chen's palm met his fist just like that. Upon contact, a mesmerizing display unfolded a cascade of golden dragon scales, materialized upon Xia Chen's arm, and each intricately adorned scale bore a mystical golden rune. Amidst a heaven-shaking sound, that large life form shattered into pieces and fell to the ground like a broken statue. With such weak control, how dare you boast so loudly? Xia Chen sneered. After that, he shouted, all those who approach the golden dragon scale will be killed without exception. After killing that life form, Xia Chen vanished and reappeared in front of another life form, which was then blasted apart by another single punch. Xia Chen was like a phantom, coming and going without a trace. Every single one of his attacks killed a powerful expert. In just a short moment, seven powerful life forms were slain. It had to be known that these were terrifying existences that had condensed heavenly Tao crowns, but Xia Chen was killing them one after another. Damn, he's unrivaled! Guo Ran had just killed two powerful life forms with his battle sabers. Eyeing Xia Chen's clean movements, he was amazed. The current Xia Chen was using the dragon scales covering his body as a vector. With his essence, Kai, and spirit controlling his blood, he could use his blood as ink to directly inscribe talismans on his scales. As a result, any talisman that he could control could be freely inscribed on his dragon scales. For example, when he had fought that metal energy cultivator, his arm had been backed by metal energy talismans. With them, Xia Chen crushed his enemy using his own metal power. Supported by his dragon blood, he was no longer afraid of close-range combat. The next six life forms were also killed with different talismans depending on Xia Chen's desires. He directly picked the best talismans to beat them with. As a result, those experts didn't even have a chance to do anything before they were slain. Die! With a thunderous roar, Yuo Ran resolutely put away his sabers, opting instead for a devastating punch. As the void shattered, a torrential Kai wave mercilessly obliterated the closest dozen experts. It was the power of his supreme bone that fueled this great display of might. I already told you to save your energy. 
even more terrifying experts might come soon, scolded Zaya Chen angrily. Hearing this, Guo Ran instantly blushed. After seeing how powerful Zaya Chen was, he also wanted to erupt a bit and ended up forgetting Zaya Chen's reminder. I am intimidating them with power so they will go somewhere else. Otherwise, if we have to kill every single person who comes, we'll exhaust ourselves, transmitted Guo Ran. Although he was quibbling, this was also reasonable. After this attack, the charging life forms fell back, their momentum stopped. The greed that had clouded their heads was cleared up. There are so many treasure lands around, yet you just have to send yourselves to your deaths. Why bother? Yuo Ran's words reverberated, instilling a sense of dread into their hearts. After scaring them, Yuo Ran shook his head in pity. With that reminder, these experts looked toward the other dragon kings, hesitating. Clearly, Zaya Chen and Yuo Ran's immense power had shaken them. No matter how amazing the treasure was, they had to be alive in order to enjoy it. After all, even if hundreds of them stood united, they might not fare well against Guo Ran and Zaya Chen. If things went badly, they might even be killed one by one. The problem was that they all came for one particular treasure land, but they worked from the same power, their hearts not united. So, even if they went all out, their lack of cooperation would not give them much advantage. Everyone, don't fall for his plan. They are stalling. If we keep waiting... Others will come, and the benefits will all go to them, shouted a devil life form. He was at least a bit smart. You think we're stalling? How laughable. Since you're so smart, why don't you come over? But you want to instill others to fight while you benefit from the rear. Come as long as you dare to take the lead. I'll believe what you just said, challenged Guo Ran disdainfully. All eyes turned toward that devil expert. Bristled with indignation, that devil expert was unable to even retort. If he took the lead, Zaya Chen and Guo Ran would instantly kill him. Even one of them would be enough to easily wipe him out, let alone their combined forces. HMPH, treacherous human race. Let's see how long you can last. I'll put you in your place later. Lacking the audacity to take the lead, the devil expert swiftly set his sights on a nearby dragon corpse and charged toward it. He knew that there weren't that many experts there. Once the devil life form left, the others also found their own targets. After all, although they had condensed heavenly Dao crowns, they could strengthen their crowns even further by absorbing more primal chaos kai. However, before they could catch their breath, the world erupted with a deafening rumble once again. From every direction, a swarm of experts emerged, converging upon them with relentless force. Zaya Chen and Guo Ran's expressions changed, their initial alarm escalating as they realized the number of opponents had multiplied tenfold. We can't fight them all. It seems that we need to switch to your tactic. You take the front, I'll take the rear. Zaya Chen took a deep breath, and runes flowed on top of his dragon scales. After that, he exchanged a glance with Guo Ran, and they both nodded. They actually charged at those terrifying life forms. Ninety-nine talismans swirled around Zaya Chen's hands, weaving together to create a colossal lotus. In the blink of an eye, Flames surged from the runes adorning his dragon scales, coursing into the center of the lotus. Instantaneously, the lotus blazed into a raging inferno that gave off an apocalyptic aura. I'll try Boss's trump card, the world extermination flame lotus. With a resounding shout, Zaya Chen unleashed this giant flame lotus upon the onslaught of approaching experts. Chapter 3000 879 The situation turns critical 99 talismans transformed into a flame lotus, which then erupted amongst the incoming experts, unleashing a ferocious wave of flame that devoured them whole. Even as these experts went all out, 
some were still torn asunder by the explosive flame the majority however succumbed to the overwhelming impact coughing up blood as they were blown back it's too bad i'm not a flame cultivator if i could use boss's nirvana scripture the flame lotus's power would be a hundred times greater enough to wipe them all out compared to boss's move this one is greatly lacking Zaya chen couldn't help but sigh when he saw this result empowered by the heavenly Tao crown and the support of the dragon blood Zaya chen felt himself to be invincible in his dragon blood battle armor state he possessed the ability to directly inscribe runes onto his dragon scales granting him the freedom to unleash a vast array of magical arts as long as he could inscribe the runes he could effortlessly unleash any talisman at his disposal he was no longer constrained by the limitation of traditional paper talismans however some things could only be replicated but not truly mastered he could imitate long chen's world extermination flame lotus but it was just the form not the essence without innate flames and the nirvana scripture although Zaya chen's talismans could draw out the flame energy of heaven and earth the effect was much worse than the nirvana scripture as a result the eruption of the ninety-nine talismans wasn't as good as he had expected with this attack he understood his shortcomings as a talisman cultivator although the heavenly Tao crown and dragon blood power enhanced his combat versatility his true essence still resided in the realm of talismans they were the embodiment of his path his Tao. split the heavens one Zaya chen had just unleashed the world extermination flame lotus when guo ran's saber descended with decisive precision but giant saber image then cleaved through the world resembling a giant crescent moon cutting through the fabric of reality Boom. the devastating impact shattered over ten powerful life forms reducing them into fragments along with their weapons a mist of blood then spread staining the air with a gruesome taint on the other side of the battlefield countless other experts were sent flying hurtling through the battlefield in disarray those who aren't afraid of death can come harnessing the might of his swinging saber guo ran bellowed with an intimidating roar unfortunately there were thousands of them this time although the power of guo ran's saber was shocking it wasn't enough to fully stop them the thing that troubled Guo Ran and Zaya Chen the most was the incessant rumbling of the surrounding space, a sign that more and more experts were coming over. Like vultures drawn to the scent of decaying flesh, their numbers swelled with each passing moment, an unyielding tide of adversaries steadily closing in. Just two people think that they can stop us. What a joke! we'll blast through them and take that dragon scale for ourselves time is of the essence we must act quickly before the peak experts appear otherwise we won't have a chance you all boldness begets fortune whoever is the luckiest will get the biggest piece of meat at this moment a powerful demonic beast shouted and took the lead to charge over he was extremely powerful with a surge of unleashed blood kai akin to a blazing fire his wings spread as he tore through the sky with unmatched ferocity the sheer force of his kai wave blew back the other experts around him since you want to die first i'll fulfill your wish yuaran was enraged as expected the very concern that troubled them really happened before his eyes with this one rallying shout the other life forms came charging over joining the fray the golden dragon scale indeed possessed a fatal attraction to everyone but yuo ran's saber slashed down with tremendous force descending upon the mighty demonic beast's own weapon a heaven-shaking explosion then erupted between them as a result that demonic beast coughed up blood and cracks covered his body a touch of fear appeared in his eyes after this blow he finally experienced just how terrifying the current guo ran was on the other hand guo ran was cursing inside 
he realized that his inability to kill this demonic beast in one blow would only stoke the others further. As expected, seeing that demonic beasts survive fueled the confidence of countless others. After all, they had numbers. With newfound determination, they crashed down upon Guo Ran and Xia Chen. Courting death, in the face of overwhelming odds, Guo Ran and Xia Chen's rage ignited like an inferno. They knew that there were too many enemies for them to stop all at once. Nevertheless, the two of them began unleashing a torrent of attacks. Each of their attacks could kill dozens of these life forms, but they couldn't hold them off forever. As one expert was about to reach the dragon scale, a sudden quiver rippled through the void. In a split second, a barrier of light appeared, obstructing his way to the dragon scale. He then struck the barrier, and without a single sound, was blown apart into a crimson mist. He ended up triggering the formation that Xia Chen had set up. Even so, those experts refused to give up. They still took out their weapons and struck that barrier ferociously. As a result, violent power coursed through their weapons and into their bodies, blowing them up. Only then did these life forms grow a bit more cool headed despite the fatal attraction of the dragon scale. They no longer simply charged forward. As for Guo Ran and Xia Chen, they were slaughtering these life forms as fast as they could. These life forms might be powerful but they weren't a match for the two of them in individual combat. Just like that, dozens of them were slain with every passing moment. However, these life forms seemed to have gone insane. They were lunatics. Despite knowing the danger, they didn't know the meaning of retreat. It was like they were afraid that they would lose any chance to obtain the dragon scale if they ran away. After all, experts were always crazy when presented with a chance to get even stronger. Don't attack the formation directly. Use long-distance attacks to exhaust the formation's power, and then we can break through, shouted a human expert. You traitor! Hearing this shout, Xia Chen and Guo Ran were both incensed. The two of them had pushed these experts to the limits of their courage, but someone just had to drive them even crazier. Moreover, as this person was from the same race as them, their fury was indescribable. Die! Huo ran furiously shot toward him like a shooting star. You want to kill me? Keep dreaming. That person sneered and took out a jade talisman, crushing it. However, the moment he crushed it, his smile stiffened. To his dismay, his transportation talisman failed to activate. In that instant, translucent talismans manifested around him, forming a barrier that blocked any attempts at spatial transportation. Die! Xia Chen had ruined his talisman from a great distance. At this moment, Guo Ran's saber fell, and that person screamed. But nothing he did could stop the scythe of the death god. Alas, although he was dead, because of his reminder, countless life forms were now unleashing rays of divine light at the barrier. Countless runes glowed on top of the quivering barrier, blocking these relentless attacks. However, those once glowing runes were rapidly dimming. All the attacking experts had already condensed their heavenly Tao crowns. As a result, their formidable power was taking a toll on the formation draining its energy reserves at an alarming rate. Now, Guo Ran and Xia Chen began to panic, as they couldn't think of a way to kill all of them swiftly. Once they broke through the barrier, the consequences would be unimaginable. Boom! Overwhelmed by the attacks of thousands of experts, the barrier exploded in a sudden burst, unleashing a surge of wild dragon kai. Upon sensing it, those experts descended into a frenzy and charged at Long Chen like hungry wolves, their rationality forsaken. However, just as these wolves were about to touch the dragon scale, one figure after another descended from the heavens with remarkable speed. Like celestial beings, their weapons tore through the void, striking down these experts with unparalleled precision and efficiency. 
the Dragon Blood Legion has arrived. If any one seeks death, come forth and fulfill your desire. The arrival of these formidable warriors was announced by a chorus of heroic and hot-blooded voices. Chapter 3880 Dragon Blood Legion fights all sides. One warrior after another appeared, with a heavenly Dao crown on their heads and golden dragon scales covering their bodies. Like unsheathed swords, their blood kai reverberated through the heavens, and their overwhelming killing intent manifested like a whirlwind. With a single strike, the closest life form to the golden dragon scale was directly hacked in two by a dragon blood warrior. Crimson blood then spilled down, marking the beginning of a counterattack against their enemies. Kill! This dragon blood warrior roared, feeling as though he had returned to the martial heaven continent and was fighting alongside Long Chen. With this roar, the hot blood that had been slumbering for so long once more ignited. At this moment, the battle wills inside their hearts erupted like volcanoes, and a desire for blood and slaughter rapidly grew. They lived in battle. In battle, they found the true essence of life and their true selves. After all, every single one of them was a warrior who had experienced hundreds of battles. But after ascending to the immortal world, they were like divine weapons covered in dust. Their light was gradually covered. Their days apart from Long Chen were not easy. Every single one of them had gone through a tough time struggling at the bottom level of the cultivation world. Ascending to the immortal world was like starting over. All of them returned to the time before Long Chen, when they were constantly suppressed and squeezed out by others. They had to fight bitterly just to survive. The light that Long Chen had bestowed upon them was no longer visible. After all, their talent and aptitude could only count as average in the immortal world. However, Long Chen had also taught them invaluable lessons that would forever be etched in their minds. One such lesson was to always have a relentless pursuit of strength. No matter what time it was, they would unleash their full power to get stronger. Without resources and talent, they could only go all out. If they were not given any opportunities, they would create them themselves. There were no excuses to be lazy. They would not submit to the cruelty of reality, nor would they give up in despair. In order to reunite with the Dragon Blood Legion, they cultivated day and night, not daring to slack in the slightest. In this world, they had to create a path for themselves at all costs, even if they had to spill their blood to do so. All that pain and suffering did not make them collapse. It only made them tougher, sharper. They were like dragons that had survived through the crushing weight of the depths. While accumulating power, they were waiting to find Long Chen. Now, they had finally found him, and in an instant, the sand covering the sharp blades was blown apart. These divine weapons finally unleashed their sharpest light. After the suffering of this time, they were ground and sharpened. Now, with the dragon blood and heavenly Tao crowns, they possessed unimaginable power. Kill! Dragon blood warriors roared in unison, causing the stars above the heavens to shake because of their overflowing battle will. It was a roar that caused even gods and devils to feel uneasy. When the dragon blood warriors charged out, those life forms aiming for the golden dragon scale were like sheep waiting for slaughter. As packs of wolves descended upon them, mercilessly rending their flesh, the air became a chaotic flurry of broken bodies and weapons scattered in disarray. However, some of those broken weapons were from the dragon blood warriors. Most of them had been very poor. So, their weapons were no good, unable to compete with the weapons of the elites. Their old weapons shattered upon impact. Fortunately, the dragon blood battle armor was always their strongest weapon, and the dragon scales served as their strongest armor. With their bare hands, they directly crushed the divine weapons of their enemies. The exhilarating sensation of slaughtering formidable foes caused their hot blood to surge. 
they then reveled in the feeling of effortlessly sweeping through their enemies unmatched and unrivaled once more even without proper weapons the dragon blood warriors were so powerful that not one of their enemies was capable of enduring a single blow from them guo ran and xia chen rejoiced filled with delight as they witnessed their immense power the dragon blood legion was finally back no longer merely the number one legion of the martial heaven continent but now the greatest legion throughout the nine heavens one by one the dragon blood warriors emerged soaring through the air with unstoppable force they had awakened from their seclusion each of them had condensed a heavenly tao crown and had also absorbed the dragon blood further strengthening their power one hundred two hundred three hundred with time more and more dragon blood warriors arrived halting the frenzied charge of these life forms they were all stopped before reaching the golden dragon scale however even more life forms were coming in relentless waves driven by their thirst for more resources it was evident that they had taken everything within their own treasure lands which compelled them to go out in search of fresh resources to exploit they were from various races some of them arrived in waves numbering in the hundreds while others came in groups of tens of thousands seeing the dragon corpses they immediately charged over to absorb the primal chaos kai but when they saw the golden dragon scale unleashing a heavenly pillar of primal chaos kai they went crazy charging over like lunatics defensive formation xia chen shouted out orders directing the warriors somehow those life forms seemed crazy seemingly willing to bite a chunk of long chen's flesh even if they had to die in the process boss he xia chen and Yuo ran widened their eyes in surprise they took notice of the dragon scale beneath long chen which had begun to undergo a transformation it shrank and shrank until it was just three meters wide intriguingly the dragon scale started to flex and curve slowly wrapping around long chen like a protective shell resembling an egg in shape the egg was translucent so everyone could see countless strands resembling tubes entering long chen's body when the connection formed his body also became translucent they could see a mystical rune on the dragon scale fragmented its pieces assimilating into his body when xia chen saw that mystical rune his heart shook it was definitely the dragon scale's innate divine ability rune if long chen could assimilate this rune he would be able to use its divine ability after seeing it xia chen understood why those life forms were going so crazy if they shattered the egg those runes would become masterless items that they could fight over anyone who wasn't an idiot knew that this dragon scale had a shocking origin its innate runes could completely change a person's fate so how could they not go insane the golden egg had a total of eight such runes long chen was absorbing the first one right now but the absorption rate was very slow seeing this those life forms grew even more frantic not good more and more enemies will be arriving soon tens of thousands of experts were still assaulting the blockade of the dragon blood warriors although their defenses were rock solid this information was still worrisome the enemies would be stronger figures that had spent more time absorbing primal chaos kai before coming furthermore some people were still eyeing the situation if any hidden experts made a move that would be even more trouble they were all waiting for the defenses of the dragon blood legion to weaken the presence of jai wuming shi yang and wang tianyao was also a great concern their heavenly dao crowns were gradually taking shape and they might finish condensing them at any moment Boom. suddenly the space in the distance collapsed and a middle-aged figure appeared with hundreds of thousands of experts charging over with furious killing intent when xia chen and guo ran saw that middle-aged man their expressions instantly changed silver moon city's lord 